that's powered by light. Any light. EcoDrive, a step on the journey for a sustainable life. Welcome everyone to the 2022 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championship Day 3 coverage up in just a few moments, the Junior Women's Short Program, 43 women from 34 countries. I'm your host, Ted Barton. It's going to be a long day of competition with the Women's Short and then followed by the Men's Free Program. New World Junior Champion will be crowned here today. 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tallinn, Estonia. Welcome to the Tondiraba Ice Arena, and welcome to the ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championships 2022. There is a look at the start order for the women's short program. This is an event of the International Skating Union and hosted by Estonian Skating Union. In just a few moments, we will start with the ladies' short program. Siis on meil pisikene palve, võimalusel kanda maske ja kindlasti palume ka siis võistlejatel jääle, mitte lilliega kingitusi visata täna me teid koostööst. We remind you that flash photography as well as video recording and filming is forbidden. Gifts and flowers offered to the skaters at the end of their performance must be completely wrapped and we thank you very much for your cooperation. Ja nüüd on meil suur hea meel tutvustada tänaste võistluste rahvusvahelise uisuliidu esindajaid. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to introduce the officials for this event. Representing the International Skating Union, please welcome the ISU representative, Mrs. Patricia St. Peter. Also representing the ISU, please welcome the referee of the event, Ms. Chihiri. Judge number one, Ms. Katalin Balsha. Judge number two, Ms. Susanna Siokist. Judge number three, Ms. Claudia Brambate. Judge number four, Mr. Tobias Bayer. Judge number five, Ms. Regan Fortin. Judge number six, Mrs. Bettina Meyer. Judge number seven, Ms. Ritsuko Horiuchi. Judge number eight, Miss Almiwa Arikan Sarbanaglu. Judge number nine, Miss Yong Siu Lee. The technical panel. The technical controller, Miss Lise Rosto Jensen. The technical specialist, Miss Franca Bianconi. and the Assistant Technical Specialist, Ms. Annette Pötsch. And there are your officials for the Ladies Short Program. 43 women coming up. There's group number one, just always a little nervous first thing in the morning. First group. Full of excitement and nerves as well. Deep for us. Those are such young skaters. Excited to be here at the World Championship and Juniors. Special moment for any athlete. Ready to get on that ice. <laughs> Want the door to open right now. 
Palomme esimese gruppi usutajad, soojandusest jääle. Please welcome to these the outfits. first group of skaters on the ice for a six-minute warm-up. From Slovenia, Julia Wawrencic. Representing Czech Republic, Barbara Vrankova. From Austria, Dorothea Leitgeb. From Germany, Alessia Rey. From Norway, Mia Caroline Risa Gomez. Julia on viirist aastane, pärit Madridist. Nüüd elab aga Slovenes pleedis. Ja tale meeldib lugeda, tale meeldib ajas tööd teha, süüa teha, tale meeldib ka kunst. Ja pleedis Sloveniast siis ka ta treenni teeb. Tema treener Teodor Bostic on siis ka olümpiamängu tasemel võistlenud ja Ja Julia osales ka viimati siis vookatis Euroopa noorte olümpiad sai seal kaheksanda koha. Julia is 15 years old. She was born in Madrid, but she currently resides in Bled. When she's not skating, she likes to read, garden, cook, or she is also interested in arts. Her coach, Teodora Postic, previously competed at the Olympic level. From Slovenia, Julia Lovrencic. Viirist aastane Barbara on sündinud Pretslavis. Aga ta trenni teeb ja kodulinnaks on tal hetkel Moskva. Ta lisaks siis uisutamisele meelib tal ka tantsida, ujumas käia ja raamatud lugeda kuna tegemist koolilapsega siis, kooliõpilasega siis ikka tuleb raamatud lugeda. Sellel aastal, sellel käes oleval aastal on ta osalenud ka juba võistlustel ja rahvusvahelistel ja saanud siis Enias, Enias Spring Trophies ka viiende koha juurite seas. Barbara is 15 years old. She was born in Bratislav, but she currently practices in Moscow. She likes to dance, swim and read books in her free time. She placed fifth in the junior division at the Egna Sprint Trophy 2022. From Czech Republic, Barbara Vrankova. Torote on 18 aastane. Sai just märtsi lõpupoole. Sündinud viinis ja tale meelib ujuda, süüa teha küpsetada, adale meelib ka oma vennaga tennist mängimas käia. Muideks on Toretega viimasel kahel hooajal siis käes olevali eelmisel Austria juunioride meister ja varasemal hooajal siis ka kolmanda koha saabutanud. Dorotea is 18 years old from Vienna. She is interested in swimming, baking, cooking and playing tennis with her brother in her free time. She practices in Vienna, and she is a high school student. Dorothea is also a national junior champion. From Austria, Dorothea Leitgeb. Olesia Saib, just asja, märtsiku lõppupoole. 14 aastaseks ja ta vist on ka selle võistlustel kõige lõhem võistleja. 141 sentimeetrit. Noh, seda on isegi näha. Taale meelib siis rattaga sõit, taal meelib joonistida. Trenni teeb ta Dortmundis ja sellel hooajal siis 2021-2022 on ta Saksamaa juunioride meister. Olesa is 14 years old and she is one of the youngest competitors at these championships. She likes to draw and cycle in her free time. She's also a national junior champion. From Germany, Olesa Rey. Mia Karoline on 16 aastane sündinud Mexico Cities. Nüüd aga treenib ja elab Stavangeris Norras. Tale meelib ka lisaks usutamisele tantsida ja mängida klaverit. Euroopa noorte olümpial 2022 vookatis sai ta 14. koha 
Ja kaks hooaega tagasi oli ta oma riigi Norra, juhin oli ta teine. Mia Karolina was born in Mexico City. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Mia Karolina was born in Mexico City. She is 16 years old and she enjoys playing the piano and dancing in her free time. She currently resides in Stavanger, Norway. From Norway, Mia Karolina Risa Gomez. And there's a little closer look at the athletes, first group on the ice. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. So with 43 women from 34 countries, we're going to see a wide range of skill level. Some of these athletes don't have access to the same amount of ice time or off-ice training or maybe started later in their life. And the start order based on uh, rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Slovenia, Julia Lovrencic. First skater, Julia, 15 years old. Coached by Teodora Pustic, 44.15. Their season's best in the Linz Junior Grand Prix, final event of the Junior Grand Prix season. So it's 18th there, 16th in Ljubljana. Skating the short program to Run Boy Run by Woodkin.
Well, what a great way to start the women's short program. Julia from Slovenia skates a nice, clean seven element program. There are three jumping passes, three spins, Slovenia. one step sequence. Julia Lovrencic. And you can see the double fist pump at the end of the program. Julia thrilled with that performance. First skater out, never easy. In the morning, start at a World Junior Championship, and she's thrilled. Let's go. And you just love to see the joy of skating and of performing <laughs> on the skater's face as she yells, yes. That was outstanding. That was a great moment. Just double axle. Gets that three day back in time, good flow. Triple flip. Maybe a little under rotated. It is under rotated in the system. Nevertheless, well executed, good mechanics, beautiful system position. Well, feature. Ah, nicely done. Triple toe, double toe combination later in the program, which was surprising. Hands above the head, nicely executed. Lay back, straight shoulders, straight back, over the hips. Beautiful. That's in at level three. All the elements except for the flip in the positive GOE. So great start to this competition by Yulia Lovrencic from Slovenia. Well, she's going to remember and enjoy this moment. Season's best, 44.19. Should beat that here with this program. This course, please. Season's best, 47.16. You know, pretty happy with that. Julia Lovrenchis from Two Slovenia thumbs up. has earned lots of expression for this young woman. points, which is their her new season's best. Thrilled. <laughs> so nice to see. Well, up next, 15-year-old Barbara Rankova from the Czech Republic. Representing Czech Republic, Barbara Rankova. Coached by Sergei Davidov, Davidov, Alexander Kretsova. 44.59 season's best. Fourteenth in Ljubljana Junior Grand Prix this past season, skating the short program to Lieberstrom by bits. <laughs>
Well, another beautiful program to start this event. Representing Czech Republic, Barbara Brankova. Wonderful posture, delicate performance, excellent acceleration for Barbara. Showed great joy in performance and through the choreography, just really delightful. Beautiful jump combination to start the program. Triple toe, triple toe. Just a few little difficulties with the layback spin, only in at a level one. There's the triple toe, hands above the head, all the way around. Good speed on the landing. Reloads. Second toe loop. Nice. Very solid opening combination. Triple flip. Touchdown with a free foot. There's a minus 0.35 on the GOE for that element. There's the change of edge on the sit spin. Double axle here. Slides off the takeoff edge, but somehow saves it. Pushes that free leg back to stabilize the landing. So nicely done. Just beautiful presentation on the ice, sensitive to the music. And take, took care of every detail of the choreography. Just really delightful. Well, that 44.59 personal best will be topped here by this score, I'm most certain. But the first two skaters out in this event, that was really delightful. Good start. Nice to see such young talent. Of course, having such a long time from the Junior Grand Prix finish in October all the way to the Junior World Championships has allowed these young women to train more and prepare better for this event. And you can see it certainly in their skating. Early on in the season, it's always a little bit tough. Let's take a look at the Short program scores for Barbara Rankova from the Czech Republic. Yeah, season's best, 52.89. And that tops her personal best score, 44, by quite a bit. Barbara Rankova from Czech Republic has earned in the short program 52.89 And Barbara takes over the lead, which is her new season second best. skater into She's the event. currently in the first place. Our next skater representing... The next Austria, skater comes from Austria, 18-year-old Dorothea Leitkeb. Coached by Sonja Harand. 40.98, season's best in Linz, last Junior Grand Prix. Skating to paint it black by Mick Jagger. Mm.
representing Austria, Dorothea Leitke. Well, a few struggles in this program for Dorothea, particularly on the opening element, the triple Saukau, and getting into only a single toe loop. But other than that, you know, there's a couple elements. Three of the elements are in the minuses for the GOE. So some work on that to do. But overall, not too bad. There's the triple Salco. A little bit too forward. Can't have it. Doesn't have enough speed to carry into a double toe loop. So has to do a toe single axle. There's the double axle on a lean and has to step out there as well. Really nice low cispin position. Beautifully centered. The flying cispin in the level four. Here's the step sequence in at a level two. And there's the double flip. Of course, no problem there. And the laid back spin, Thielman level four with a plus GOE. Just the triple solid combination plus the double axle posing a few problems. Not the performance that Dorotea would have loved to have at the Junior Worlds. Season's best, 40.98. Probably will fall short of that here. So difficult coming off the ice and wanting to have skated your best. Only thing that you can control, you see other skaters around you having a good performance. It's a battle of feelings for most of the skaters' career. Battle of negative feelings. You have to just park those and move forward, and you get through hard work and improvement, things turn positive, but it's always a rocky road. I suppose that's with everything in life. Just learning how to cope. The scores, please. The scores for Dorothea from Austria, short program. Austria, Dorothea, Dorothea, Leitke. 35.98, that's third in the short program so far. Dorothea Leitke from Austria has earned in the short program 35.98 points and she's currently in the third place. Well, from Germany, the youngest competitor Our in the event, 14-year-old Alyssa Ray. Junior national champion of Germany. Bavarian Open in 2022, fifth in junior women. And she'll take to the ice for her first appearance at the World Junior Championship Skating to Memory from Katz.
Well, what a delightful young skater Alyssa Ray is from Germany. Wonderful posture. Germany, Alyssa Ray. Petite but powerful. Just accelerates so easily. And she looks pretty happy with that performance. Level four on the spins. So wonderful spin positions, really fast as well. Just a beautiful performance. Charming young women on the ice. You can see she enjoyed the performance as well. You can see ballet trained. There's the triple toe loop, gets the free leg back in time, stays nice and steady. Second triple toe loop done, pushes that free leg back, good extension, triple flip, probably an edge call and under rotated in the system it is. The double axle rides off the end of that edge, a little bit on a lean but pushes that free leg back, great extensions, beautiful back, nice dealman on the layback spin that comes in at a level three. Difficult variation in that sit spin position of the change combination spin. That is the level four. All the elements in the plus GOE except, of course, the flip. Charming, delightful, bags of talent. It'll be fun watching this young woman continue to progress. And hopefully we'll see her on the Junior Grand Prix circuit next season. Well, no personal best score or competition record this season. But the junior champion of Germany. Let's take a look. Sure program score. 52.02. Alyssa <laughs> very happy with that score. And that puts Alyssa currently in the second place. Great job. 52.02 points and she's currently in the second place. We love to see that excitement and thrill. And it's there. Bright eyes. Our next skater represents Our next skater Norway. comes from Norway. Mia, Mia Carolina, Carolina Risa, Risa Gomez. Gomez. 16 years old. Born in Mexico City. 39.48. Personal best earning that in Koshitze Junior Grand Prix this past season. Looking to top that score here right now. Do you want to go to the
representing Norway, Mia Karolina Risa Gomez. Well, maybe not the performance that Mia wanted to, but there's some really good elements in this program or aspects of the program. Mia paid particular attention to the musical phrasing, so she was patient, patient with her choreography, and that's a good sign. The triple toe, double toe, a little messy on the landing of the second triple toe, pardon me, and the triple flip attempt pulling that upper body on the takeoff, so had to double that. But the rest of the way, the program really nice, beautiful double axle, some good spins. Here's the first triple toe loop, really nice, straight in the air. Lands right on top, goes up for the second triple toe loop. Not a lot of speed, under rotated and has to put the foot down. And it is under rotated and sits. And there's the trip, double flip. That just got all messed up on the takeoff. Out of position. There's a nice low sit spin position. Change combo spin at four, level four. Step sequence in at two. Double axle, nice off the end of the edge, tight in the air, and good flow on the landing. It's a little falling leaf leap. So, some really nice aspects to Mia skating. A couple of little problems in the program, but overall nice. A little bit more speed is required, a little bit more aggressiveness and, and confidence. See at the beginning before they went on the ice, the camera went on to Mia and she's just a little shy. Needs to just come out of that a little bit and bring that performance bigger onto the ice. 40.33 seasons best for Mia, and that will put her currently into fourth place. Mia Carolina Risa Gomez from Norway has earned the short program 40.33 points, which is her new season's best and brings her currently into the fourth place. And just a reminder, with 43 women, 24 will move on to the free program. So as you see a queue appear beside the name of the skater in the results, there's a look at the standing so far, and we won't see those queues for a bit yet. But when you see the queue, that means they will have qualified for the final 24 in the free program. There's a look well, at our next five well, skaters well, as we get uh, introduced. Yeah. A little bit more Please information about each one. Skaters on the ice for a six minute warm up. Representing Israel, Maria Senyuk. Representing Mexico, Andrea Astrand Maines. Representing Denmark, Katarina Victoria Petersen. Representing Cyprus, Stefania Yakovleva. And representing Croatia, Hanna Tsvianovic. Maria on 16 aastane. Ta on sündinud Moskvas. Ta elab Moskvas ja treenib ka seal. Ja temal on etteneidata siis kaks aastat tagasi, 2009, siis 20 Iisraeli jooniride meistri tiitel ja sama tiitel on ka sellest hooajast. Ning osalest taga Vookatis, sellel aastal Euroopa noorte olümpial festivali, kus sai viienda koha. Maria is a 16-year-old from Moscow. She trains in Moscow as well. She's currently a student. She's a national junior champion and she placed fifth at the European Youth Olympics Festival in Vuokati this year. From Israel, Maria Senyuk. Andrea on 18 aastane. Ta elab Meksikos, teeb Meksikos trenni ja siis kui on võistlust teha, siis käib ta Nashvillis. Treenimas. Tale meeldib tantsida, süüa teha, a tema üks hobi on ka fotograafia. Ja temal on ettenedata siis sellest aastast juba mitu võistlust rahvusvahelist, kus ta siis 15. Euroopa Cup Skate Helenas sai teise koha jõunurite seas. Andrea is 18 years old. She enjoys dancing, cooking and photography in her free time. She shares her training time between Mexico City and Nashville, USA. From Mexico, Andrea Astrain Maines.
Katariina Victoria on seitsemendeist aastane. Sündind, elab ja treenib Eespiergis. Talle meelib siis ka lisaks joonistada ja raamatuid lugeda. Tema on sellel aastal 2021-2022 Taani juunioride meister ja samuti osales ka hiljuti vuokatis Euroopa Norde festivali Olympia festivalil, kus see seitsemenda koha. Katariina Victoria is 17 years old from Esbjerg. She likes to draw and read in her spare time. She's a national junior champion. From Denmark, Katarina Victoria Petersen. Stefania on 14 aastane keskkooli õppilane. Talle meelib golf ja ta mängib ka klaverit. Tema treenimas käib nii Limassolis Küproses Venemaal kui ka Dubais. Ja temal on ettenäidata ka Tallinna külastus juba eelmisel aastal, kus ta sai seal kaheksanda koha juunurite seas. Stefania is a 14-year-old who enjoys playing golf and piano in her free time. She shares her training time between Dubai, Russia and Cyprus. From Cyprus, Stefania Jakovleva. Anna on 19 aastane, ta on päritsa Zagrebist ja ta käib siis kõrguvajal või võistustajal lisaks Zagrebile treenimas ka Itaalias ja Englias. Ta on kaks ja kolm hooaega tagasi seinerite siis täiskasvustenete Horvaatia meister. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Hannah is 19 years old, from Zagreb. She enjoys baking and shopping when she's not skating. Lorenzo Magri is a part of her choreographing team. From Croatia, Hannah Tsvijanovic. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. Well, ready now for group number two in the women's short program. Ladies and gentlemen, representing... Our first skater Israel, comes from Israel, Maria, Maria Seniak. 16 years old, junior champion, fifth at the European Youth Olympics this season, and 12th in Linz, Austria, at the Junior Grand Prix. Skating to a song by Andrea Bocelli and Helena Segar.
Well, what a lovely program by Maria. All the elements in the positive GOE, so no quality issues, just Israel. additions to the Senior. scores. Good posture, really lovely knee bend in the deep edges on the step sequence. You can see a lot of time has been spent just learning how to skate better, how to be a solid, beautiful skater, then add the jumps and the spins and the performance. Really lovely in this short program. You can see a nice spot coming off the ice. Let's take a little closer look. There's the triple lutz, double tolu. Double axle lifts nicely up into the air, gets the free leg back. Fine sits been in level four with a plus GOE of 0.43. Here's the triple flip later in the program. Really well done. Right on top, stretch the free leg. Change combination spin level four later in the program. Great, look at those small little circles, perfectly centered. It's exactly what you wanted to spin. Here's the layback going up into the Beelman. Very nice. 49.85 season's best for Maria. We should see that score beaten here right now with that performance. and the athletes having quite a bit of time to prepare for the Junior Worlds. It's been a long season, but the basic skating of all these skaters, no matter where they end up in the results, has improved. This course, More please. time training, maybe less time competing. Here we go. Short program scores for Maria Seniak of Israel. 52.20. That's the season's best. And that'll move Maria currently into second place. Maria Sinuk from Israel has earned in the short program 52.20 points, which is her and new top season's three best. skaters all 52 points, so ever so place. close. We'll see where that ends them to be after the short program. Will they qualify? We won't start seeing those cues show up to the names for a little bit yet. Our next, well, next skater comes from Mexico, 18-year-old Andrea Estrain Menez, coached by Mary Ro Reyes and Ernest Brietka. 33.08, season's best. 18th at Courchevel, week number two in the Junior Grand Prix this past season, skating to charms.
representing Mexico, Andrea Astrain Maines. Well, you can see Andrea just a little disappointed at the end of that program. It didn't go well for her. Just too many little mistakes. You can see a big breath coming off the ice. You worked so hard to get here. And that performance happens in just two minutes and 30 or 40 seconds. And when you're off, you're off, and it's can't get it back. Just a little loose in the air in the rotation. In the air, here's a look at the triple flip. You can see the legs not perfectly tight. That free leg got stuck in front. Didn't get back to stabilize. There's the double axle. And too far forward on the landing. Need to straighten that back to hold those landings. The hand go, it has to go down. There's the steps in at level three. Lay back spin in at level four. Lost a little bit of the center right there. It started to travel and lost a little bit of speed as well. There's the double Lutz off on a lean. Too far back on the heel in the landing. And it has to take a fall. Change combination has been at the end of the program. In at the moment at three, but being reviewed for the elements under review. When you get a program that just starts to fall apart a little bit, the technical panel is looking into a lot of the details. Sometimes these skaters are really quite good in practice. They lose confidence in themselves when they go to compete. And then if they have a performance such as this, they lose even more confidence. And it's a hard battle for the coaches to work through because it's more psychological than physical at that point. And the only tool that the coach has really are words. Now the change combinations, or the combination spent at the end of the program is in at zero with an asterisk is still under review. Well, 33.08 season's best so far, so might still beat that score. Nice posture just sitting there. You can see nice straight back. But so important on the landings of these jumps to have a strong back so that if you're a bit on a lean a little bit, you don't give in to that and break forward. You keep that back strong and it'll stabilize the landing a lot more. And now you can see some work being done by the coach. Just talking Andrea through some of the elements and experience here at Junior Worlds. Still two elements under review, so I would ex suspect there might be a technical issue with the scoring system or with the replays, not sure, of course. hard for the, many of these skaters to travel so far from around the world to come here and to not qualify for the free program. You're just getting the experience of the short program, but that's what it is. 43 women. It'd be difficult to do the free program with that. It'd take a whole day. So it's 20 in the pairs and dance and 24 with the men and women. Well, there 
there's prize money for these athletes that win the event in the men's and women's. It's $10,000 for first place, $7,000 for second, and five for third. In the pairs and the dance, $15,000 for first place, $10,000 for second, and $7,000 for third. All the way down to sixth place in the men's and women's gets $1,000. And same for the pairs and dance. So there is prize money to help these skaters continue to fund their training in the next season. This course, please. Here we go. We've got the scores. Remember, 33.08, season's best for Mexico Andrea. And season's best at 35.09. Not the performance that Andrea wants. Andrea season's best. From Mexico Good to have that. Worlds. 35.09 points, but I'm which is most certain this young woman can skate much better than that and probably does place. in practice every day. Our next competitor comes from Denmark, 17-year-old Katharina Victoria Pedersen, 46.12 personal best, earning that in Courchevel week one in the Junior Grand Prix this past season, junior champion of Denmark. Skating the short program to one eye open by Lola Blanc. A really nice performance by Katarina Victoria Pedersen from Denmark. Brought a lot of joy to that. Denmark. Katarina Victoria Nicely Pedersen. connected to the music throughout the program. Of course, a lot of that will depend on the elements. If they're successful, it brings a lot of joy to your performance. And if they're not, it's a bit of a struggle. But in this case, technical elements really well performed. 
and so was the choreography to the music. Lots of fun. Smiles coming off the ice. It's hard to explain the joy that a skater gets with all the work that goes into a performance like this, but there's the triple toe loop. Little forward on the takeoff, gets the free leg back in time, holds the back strong up into the double toe loop. So that was really well done. There's the double axle. No problem as well. Flying system in level four. That was a really nice spin. All the elements in with a plus GOE. There's the double flip. Great steps into and out of that double flip a little bit later in the program. Change combinations then in at four. And some of the steps also in at level four. My gosh. That's the highest step sequence we've seen so far. Layback's going to be in, in at level three. Remember, there's four levels to each one of these elements. And a list of features you need to get at least four of those to accomplish the level four. So 46.12 seasons best for Katrina here at Junior Worlds. Short program score is 48.12, so seasons best here at Junior Worlds. Nicely done. And that'll put Katarina currently in the fourth place. has earned in the short program 48.12 points, which is her new season's best, and currently brings her into the fourth place. <laughs> well, our next competitor comes from Cyprus. She's 14 our years old, Stephanie, Stefania Yakovleva. 40.80 season's best for Stefania. 15th at the Junior Grand Prix in Gdansk this past season, skating the short program here at Worlds to Lucena. But anyhow, or Coney. <laughs> Just be 
representing Cyprus, Stefania Yakovleva. I really like Stefania's performance level. Very, very high, connected to the music, has character, has a little bit of sass and attitude in the performance. Had some problems technically, we'll look at that of course, but this young woman has got something very nice in her performance and connection to the music. Of course, in this sport, you need both the technical as well. Some challenges there. That'll come in time, though. You can see tight rotation in the air. Here's the triple flip. Just too far. Over-rotated, in fact. There's the double axle. Nice and straight and tight in the air, so that's good. Takeoffs are good. Some challenges on the landings here in this short program. Fines has been at level three. The layback in at level three as well. So missing a feature on both those two spins. There's a triple loop, and that gets really slow. Obviously, on the toe picks, has to go around in a circle. Tries to double, no, doesn't get around. Downgraded to single. So a little messy on the technical elements, but performance skills quite nice. Well, this is the best of 40.80, but it's a 38.64 here today for a seventh place finish in the short program at this point. Probably not going to be enough to qualify. Some nice skills, but not enough technical today to reach the type of score she would need to qualify. Our next skater representing Croatia, Hanna Cvijanovic. The 19-year-old Hanna Cvijanovic from Croatia. 46.33, season's best. Looking to improve on that score right now, skating to black and gold by Brenna Whitaker. <laughs>
representing Croatia, Hana Svianovic. Well, not the performance that Hana had hoped for. Some real challenges on the technical elements. That'll be costly. You have to be so quick on the landings, even if the takeoffs are off or you're on a lean in the air, the checkout is what's most important. And most of the time, a skater is a little bit off. They can feel it, but if your back is strong and you're quick with that free leg, you can still save the landing. Here's a look at the triple flip. A little bit too far forward, under rotated. And that's to do a three turn out. Here's the triple loop and lands forward, goes back onto the heel of the blade and has to take a fall for that. Double axle. No problem there. The layback's been only in at a level one, so. This seems a feature that's just under review now. It is confirmed at a level one. And step sequence into level two as well. The change combination has been at the end of the program, though, level four. Well, season's best was 37.05, but personal best's 46. So. Probably going to fall a little bit short of both those scores. Just a little too many technical mistakes. So costly in a short program. Such a frustrating moment for the athletes. A challenging moment for the coaches as well, just wanting to console them. And this scores, please. Short program scores for Hanan. 35.96, that's ninth on the short program. And that will Hannah not Hannah qualify Hannah Croatia for the, the final. Program, points, and she's currently in the ninth place. Well, that concludes group number two in the women's short program. There's a look at the standings so far. Some really nice performances early on. Top three, all in the 52-point range. And that'll be exciting in the free program, I expect them to qualify, but we still have a lot of skaters to come. We'll see when those cues start to show up. We're gonna take a short break during the ice resurfacing. We'll be back with group number three. More to come, much more to come. From Tallinn, Estonia, and the Junior World Figure Skating Championships. Day three of coverage. We're in the middle of the women's short program. Stay with us, we'll be back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Estonia, Tallinn. Such a beautiful city. There's a look at group number three of the women's short program on day three of competition. The men's free program will go on after this a little bit later today, and we'll crown new world junior champion in the battle for the podium. Some great skating in the men's event as here in the women's as well. We've seen some terrific performances very early on in this event. Three skaters in the 52 mark range. As we now move on to group number three. Always anxious and exciting moments. Most of these skaters will probably have a short break after the Junior World Championships and then get back to work to prepare for next season on the Junior Grand Prix. Please welcome and we'll let you get introdu introduced to the next group of women, group number three in the women's short program. Representing Poland, Victoria Maliniak. Representing Netherlands, Julia van Dijk. Representing Bulgaria, Chiara Kristova. Representing Ukraine, Anastasia Fomchenkova. And representing Kazakhstan, Anna Levkovic. Victoria on 14 aastane ja Krokovist pärit. Talle meeli puisutada muidugi, aga talle meelib ka joonistada ja mis talle veel meelib, matemaatika arvutab kõik pöörded ära ja kõik need teeb arvutab. Aga tema on üsna vähe veel sel hoel võistelnud ja ühel Budapesti võistlusel sai ta küll juunerite klassis viienda koha. Victoria is 14 years old from Krakow. She enjoys drawing and her favorite subject at school is mathematics. From Poland, Victoria Maliniak. Julia on 16 aastane. Ta on sündinud ja elab Tilburgis. Noh, nagu tänapäeva noortel ikka, maatab tele meelib talle Netflixi filmi maadata, teeb ka TikTokis videosid ja muidugi käib ka shoppamas. Tordrahtis käib ta siis igapäevasel trenni tegemas ja sellel hooajal on ta siis juba mitmel rahvusvahelisel võistlustel võistlenud ja saavutanud seal parimana neljanda koha. Julia is a 16-year-old high school student from Tilburg. In her free time she likes to watch Netflix, make TikToks, and she goes shopping. From the Netherlands, Julia van Dijk. Kiara on 14-aastane Sofiast pärit. Ja ta on õpilane, kes kuulab muusikat ja käib matkamas. Tema treenib nii Sofias kui Kranevas kui ka St. Moritzis Šveitsis. Sellel aastal, selle aasta numbris ees 2022 on ta mitmel rahvusvahelistel võistlusel võistlenud ja saanud seal nii hõbeda kui pronkse. 
Kiara is 14 years old who enjoys listening to music and hiking. She shares her training time between Sofia in Bulgaria and St. Moritz in Switzerland. From Bulgaria, Kiara Christova. Anastasia on 14-aastane. Ta on pärit Karkivist. Ta on õpilane. Ja talle meeldib joonistada, talle meeldib rattaga sõita, aga talle meeldib ka käsitöö. Nimelt talle meeldib siis teha väikestest helmestest ja kuulikestest tikandeid, mis näevad väga kenad välja. Treenib, vähe kui võimalik on siis Harkivis ja sellel hooajal on siis ka mitmel rahvusvaelsel võistlusel võistlenud. Parem koht siimani siis kolmas koht. Anastasia is 14 year old from Harkiv. In her free time, she likes drawing, biking, and embroidering with beads. From Ukraine, Anastasia Fomchenkova. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Anna on ka 14-aastane. Pärit kargand aast. Elab ja treenib Nursultaanis. Ja uisuta meile lisaks, meeldib talle ka näiteks kitarri mängida. Sellel aastal siis Winterstar võistlustel Minskis sai ta teise koha juunerites. Anna is 14 year old. She trains in Nur Sultan and in her free time she enjoys playing the guitar. She placed second in the junior division at the Winter Star competition in Minsk this season. From Kazakhstan, Anna Levkovets. There you have it, the introductions to this group three athletes. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. And here we go. Top three skaters from the Czech Republic, 52.89, Israel 52.20, and from Germany, 52.02. Very tight. That's, those scores are kind of a mark that for sure you're going to be qualifying in this event. If you can reach the high 40s, ladies and the low gentlemen, 50s. representing Poland, Victoria Maliniak. Well, next up from Poland, Victoria Maliniak, 14 years old, born in Krakow, coached by Alexander Nikolaev. Fifth in the Budapest Trophy 2021, skating the short program to hit the road jack by Ray Charles. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
Representing Poland, Victoria Malignac. A well, good program by Victoria. Just a step out on the triple flip. Very patient in the step sequence. Really nice deep edges, good turns. The step sequence as is in at a level three. You can see her just taking the time to make sure that every turn was correct. Coming off the ice and... Feeling pretty good about that performance. A nice composition of program, just maybe a little bit more emotional connection, but just 14 years old, so it, it takes time to get fully connected with the music. Here's the triple loop. Gets the free leg back in time, and up into the double toe loop. Jump combination done. There's the triple flip. And the free leg gets stuck in the front. Too far back on the heel and has to step out, but saves from a fall. So look at some of the steps. You can see Victoria just patiently making sure that every edge and turn were completed. There's the double ox, so really nice into a twizzle. Beautifully centered spin right there. The blade staying in one spot. And then the layback at level four, final element of the program, up into a Beelman, great flexibility and strength required to pull that leg up over the head. Nice job. Some very nice skills. program scores for Ola, Victoria Meleniak from Victoria Poland 44.51 that's sixth in the short program Victoria Meleniak from Poland has earned in the short program 44.51 points and she's currently in the sixth place Our next well, our next competitor comes from the Netherlands, 16-year-old Julia van Dijk, born in Tilburg, coached by Nicole Goosens, 46.87 seasons best in Linz, Austria, on the final Junior Grand Prix event. Skating to I Love Paris. Toujours, elle est belle, comme toujours, tous les jours, tout le temps. Dans le noir, mes soleils, le brouillard ou la grêle. Un peu beaucoup passionnant. Dans le blanc, dans les flocons, 
Comme toujours, elle est belle Comme toujours, tous les jours, tout le temps Dans le noir, le soleil Le brouillard rouge à l'œil Un peu beaucoup Parce qu'il s'y vit maintenant. Oh, really solid skate for Julia Vadik from the Netherlands. Julia Van Dijk. You can see the smile on her face at the end of the program and coming off the ice. Very well executed technical skills. And such joy delivering a performance like that at the Junior World Championship. Cute program. Still work to do once the elements are done to really perform a little higher level. There's the triple lots. Beautiful into the double toe loop. Solid. No problem at all. A plus 1.01 in that combination. There's the triple flip. Also very nicely executed positive GOE flying sits been in level four the plus two six there's the double axe a little slip of the takeoff but strong back holds the landing nicely layback spin at four level four same thing with the change combination spin level four as well so maximizing the spins step sequence in at level three which is good a really nice, solid program. Good skating skills as well. And when the skater's happy, a little bit more connection with the music. Very charming. Nicely done. Well, season's best, 46.87. I think you're going to see that score beaten significantly here for Yulia. That's what you train so hard for, that magic moment when it all comes together and, a, and you question yourself before you get on the ice and you focus during the performance. This and that great moment of joy happens when you deliver your best at the moment you most need it and Holland want it. Here's the scores for the short program for Julia, 54.61, season's best, of course, by quite a bit. Tears of joy there in the kiss and cry. And that puts Julia currently in the first place. I would expect in time we'll see a cue against that name. Beautifully done. Well, our next skater, 14 years old from Bulgaria, Kiara Rostova. Our next skater representing Sofia, Bulgaria, Chiara and coached Christava. by Andre Dutte. Dutai. 37.99 personal best in the final Junior Grand Prix in Linz, Austria, back in the fall. Skating the short program to Clown.
Well, very nice short program by Kiara Kristova from Bulgaria. Kiara Kristova. Her season's best was 37.99. She'll beat that number by quite a bit here. Very solid technical performance. It's interesting when skaters come off the ice. Some you can tell exactly how they feel about the program, but not here with Kiara. It was really strong. And here's the triple flip off the top of the program. Triple lets, pardon me, double toe loop. Really nicely executed. The triple flip right on top of the landing. Good flow on the way out. A plus 0.53 for the GOE, so adding to that base score for the quality of the element, there's a look at the flying system in a level three. The double axle rides off the edge nicely. Get that free leg back and does. Plus GOE on that element as well. A step sequence in, in at level three, so missing one of the features. Remember level four is as high as you can go for difficulty on any of the elements. A layback in at a base level did not achieve any of the features required. Looked like the flexibility in the back was a bit of an issue. Change combination spin at the end in at level four. Nice. So 37.99. KR season's best. hoping to qualify of course and as the event goes on we'll begin to identify be able to identify those athletes that qualify for this free program please. 43 women but only 24 qualified let's take a look at the short program scores for Kiara Rostova of Bulgaria 48.14 season's best and that'll put Kiara currently into fifth Kiara place. Kiara Kristova from Bulgaria has earned in the short program 48.14 points, which is her new season's best, and she's currently in the fifth place. Well, our next competitor comes from our Ukraine. 14-year-old Anastasia from Chikova. Season's best, 34.73, earning that in Courchevel. Week one of the Junior Grand Prix this past season, skating to Mont Home by Carmen Maria.
representing Ukraine, Anastasia Fomchenkova. A pretty good performance for Anastasia from Ukraine. Just the fall on the triple loop. Just a beautiful triple flip off the top of the program. <laughs> Big smile. There's the flip right here. Watch the landing. Yeah, just uh, under rotation in the judging system, but the mechanics of that jump, beautiful. Flying since been level three. Just missing one feature there. There's the loop. This is the problem. Under rotated, too far back on the heel on a lean. And that's to take the fall. Combination spin in at level three. So missing some of the features. Camel spin as well at just a level two. So losing some points on the difficulty, missing a couple features in some of those elements. Double axle at the end of the program, no problem riding nicely off the end of the edge and beautiful stretch and bend on that landing. This lovely quality. Well, 34.73, season's best. to be here and to have that performance one mistake but overall pretty well done just 14 years old so lots of time to continue to develop and improve and get stronger gain confidence a good experience gain here short program scores for Anastasia from Chikova from Ukraine Ukraina ilusuttaja Anastasia Fomchenkova. 38.74, that's a season's best. And that'll put Anastasia currently into 10th place. Anastasia Fomchenkova from Ukraine has earned in the short program 38.74 points, which is her new season's best and brings her currently in the 10th place. Our well, our next competitor comes from Kazakhstan, 14-year-old Anna, Anna Levkovets, coached by Alexandra Kurzhneva, 44.03, season's best in Gdansk on the Junior Grand Prix this past season. It's getting to run by Ian Audi.
representing Kazakhstan, Anna Levkovets. Well, really too bad about that double axel for Anna because the rest of the program was really strong. Just pulled that takeoff edge around the corner and whipped it on the takeoff. Got on a lean and couldn't handle the landing, but we'll take a look at that. But the first two elements, very strong. And some nice quality skating throughout the rest of the program. Just 14, there's the look at the triple. Lutz reloads, double toe loop. No problem. Triple flip, good inside edge. Take off right on top on the landing. Nice. Change combination spin, level four. All the elements except for the axle are in the plus GOEs. And there's the problem with the axle, just a way around the corner on that takeoff edge. Very difficult control. Need to stay on top, ride that edge forward. Step sequence level two. So I'm missing a couple features on that. Layback at the end of the program, nicely done. The level four, all four features accomplished. Beautiful, Beelman, that blade has got to be held right above the head to get that feature, and it was. Very nice job by Anna Levkovets of Kazakhstan. Season's best, 44.03. Should be able to beat that score here with this performance. Short program score for Anna. Well, season's best at 48.07, and that will put Anna currently in the seventh place. Anna Levkovets from Kazakhstan has earned in the short program 48.07 points, which is her new season's best, which currently brings her into the seventh place. Well, that completes group three. There's a look at the current standing so far. Top three skaters came out of the first group. We have four skaters now with 52 points, so it's ever so close. Sorry, three skaters with 52, one with 54, but ever so close amongst the top four skaters. Please welcome the fourth group of skaters on the ice. Group number four, take you to the ice warm -up. Step aside, let you be introduced to them. From Great Britain, Elena Komova. From Canada, Justine Miklet. From Slovakia, Vanessa Silmekova. From Turkey, Anna Denis Özdemir. From Italy, Anna Pizzetta. Elena on 16 aastane. Ta on sündid Moskvas ja lüüd elab Derbis. Nottinghamis käib trennis. Tale meeldib lisaks usutamisele ka lugeda. Ja kaks hooaega tagasi 2019-2020 ja sellel hooajal 2021-2022 on ta Suurbritannia juunuride meister. Vuokatis sai nüüd hiljuti alles 18. koha. Elena is 16 year old. She enjoys reading in her free time. She's training in Nottingham and Moscow. She's the reigning junior national champion. From Great Britain, Elena Komova. Justin on viides taastane ja ta on pärit Montrealist. Chamblee saan aga elu ja, ja treenimise koht. Loeb, joonistab, maalib ja siis tantsib ka vahel. Ja tema 
võistlust ja hooaeg on üsna kõre olnud, aga sellel hooajalandel kahel rahvusvahelistel võistlustel osalenud viimati sai Tilburgis siis neljanda koha juunurite seas. Justine is 15 year old from Montreal. Her hobbies are reading, drawing, painting and dancing. From Canada, Justine Miklet. Vanessa on 15-aastane ja tema kodulinaks on Zilina. Seal tema ka trenni teib. Kui paras ja kui uisuta, siis suusatab või siis tantsib või hoopis laulab. Ja oma parimad tulemused on ta siis sellel hooajal saavutanud septembri kuus. Ja seal on tal ka kirjas siis parimad kohad. Aga nüüd on ka viimasel ajal siis sellel aastal on tal juunuridil bronksmedal Pukarestist. Vanessa is 15 year old high school student who likes skiing, dancing and singing in her free time. She placed third in the junior division at the Bello Memorial this year in Bucharest. From Slovakia, Vanessa Silmekova. Anna Tenis on ka 15-aastane. Tema on sündind ja elab Ankaraas ja seal kõik ka trenni tegemas. Lisaks talle siis meeldib ka tantsida ja joonistada. Sellel aastal ta oma riigi hõbemedali omanik meistrivõistustel ja Noorte Olympial festivalil vuokatis siis osales ka ja sai 19. koha. Anna Tenis is a 15-year-old from Ankara who enjoys dancing and drawing. She is the national junior championships silver medalist. From Turkey, Anna Deniz Özdemir. Anna 15-aastane ja temal treenimisel kohaks ikkagi Enja ja ja sellel aastal võistles ta siis sellel hooajal võistles ta Itaalia ja ka täiskasvamute seas sai seal teise koha. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Anna is 15 year old. She placed second in the national senior championships this year and she is a winner of the junior part of competition at Agnes Spring Trophy last week. From Italy, Anna Pezzetta. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. Well, here we go. Start of group number four in the Women's Short Program. 43 entries from 34 countries as we progress through the start list. And we'll begin to find out who qualifies for the free program. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Great Britain, Elena Komova. From Great Britain, Komova. Elena Komova, 16 years old, born in Moscow, coached by Philip Harris. Former, nas former national champion, competed in national level as well, skating the short program to Dark Eyes, performed by a 101 string orchestra. <laughs>
representing Great Britain, Elena Komova. Well, good performance for Elena. Seven elements, three under review. And just missing some of the levels on the spins. All spins in at a level three, so just me missing a feature off of that. A look at the triple sow, nice and straight and tight in the air. Gets the free leg back, lots of time up into the double toe loop. Uh, has to do a three turn, just doesn't push the free leg back quick enough. Double flip, of course, no problem for athletes at this level. I'll be working on that triple flip. There's the layback, the Beelman, but missing one feature. So, level three on the layback, double axle a little bit later in the program. Nicely done. Step sequence in at a level three, which is a pretty good level for juniors on the steps. Three out of the seven elements are in the minus GOEs. The other four are the pluses for quality. So still some work to do in that area. There's a look at the change combination spin, sit spin portion in at level three, final element in the program. Well, season's best is 42.58. We'll see whether Elena is able to come close to that score. program scores for Alina Komova from Great Britain. So 40.92 short out season's best and that will put Alina currently in the 10th place. Elena Komova from Great Britain has earned in the short program 40.92 points and she's currently in the 10th place. Well, next up from Canada, there's a look at the rest of the team here to cheer their athletes on, their Our colleagues. Justine McClett, 15 years old, born in Montreal, coached by Stephanie Fiorito, choreographed by Jory Russell. 45.45 personal best, earning that in week three on the Junior Grand Prix Skating Tour. I want to hold your hand and hand in hand under the sun by Carl Hugo. Yeah.
representing Canada, Justine McClett. Well, Justine has some really nice qualities in her skating. Two big mistakes here in the short program. It's going to be costly, but the overall quality is very high. So I think you're going to see some pretty good scores from that. The spins are beautiful. All level fours, level three step sequence. So earning those points up in the other elements in which she lost on the jumps. We'll take a look at some of the detail in the program, but really nice overall quality of skating. And there's a look at the triple flip off the top, just too far back, has to step out of that. First triple toe loop, really nice. Reload, second triple toe loop, right on top. Nicely done, solid with the, six, with the .66 GOE. There's the flying sit spin in a level four with a plus GOE as well. So earning those points on other elements, the step sequence in at level three, which is a good level for juniors. Double axle, too far forward on this landing. Hands have to go down. So that was unusual and awkward. Change combination in level four. The plus GOE as well. So in the layback, same thing with the layback. So points maximized on spins, step sequence, but some minuses on the jumps. Well, season's best, 45.45. I think you'll see this score higher than that. The overall quality of the skating, and as I said, the spins and steps will help Justine in this case. Justine looking for that perfect performance, so probably a little disappointed with particularly the double axle. A jump that is not often missed for her. Beautiful triple toe, triple toe combination, and the flip a bit of a step out, so. This course, please. Short program score for Justine McLett from Canada. Canada 55.41, that's the season's best by 10 points. And that puts Justine currently in the first place. Justine Miklet from Canada has earned in the short program 55.41 points, which is her new season's best. It's less than a point up on Julia Van Dijk from the Netherlands. Our next competitor comes from, from Slovakia, 15-year-old Vanessa Sem Semakova. Vanessa Semakova. 48.59, Vanessa's season's best. Earning that on the Junior Grand Prix this past season. Skating the short program here at the Junior Worlds to It's a New Day by Anouk. Thank you. 
Representing Slovakia, Vanessa Selmenkova. Well, other than the opening element, the triplets combination, which was missed, the rest of the program went really quite well for Vanessa. But coming off the ice, looking you know pretty disappointed with that first settlement. It's got big points attached to it, and really only came out of that with a 1.05. So. Here's the Lutz, actually they say it's downgraded. Yeah, you can see that downgraded plus the fall, missing the combination. So really, a lot of points left on the table. Here's triple flip. This was no problem. Nice and straight and strong in the air. Gets the free leg back, good flow. Layback spin in at just a level three, so missing a feature on that as well. In fact, all three spins are at level three, so Missing that fourth feature, leaving some points on the ice in those elements as well. Double axle, nice and strong near the end of the program. And there's that difficult variation, twisting the upper body upwards. And change combination spin level three at the end of the program. So the big loss on the combination and leaving some points in the spins as well. And spend some time, you get caught by the music, and you feel you're behind a little bit, you might shorten a position and not get the feature. Well, 48.59, season's best for Vanessa. Four of the seven elements were under review, now completed. And it just shows when you have a bit of a, not messy program, but challenges on some of the elements in the program, the technical panel takes a little bit longer, obviously, to look at the detail. Let's take a look at the short program scores for Slovakia Vanessa. Yeah, 41.10, that'll put Vanessa currently into 11th place. Vanessa Selmikova from Slovakia has earned in the short program 41.10 points. And she's currently there. in the 11th place. Our next competitor comes from Turkey. 15-year-old Anna Denise Ozdemir. Our next teacher representing Turkey. Anna Denise Özdemir. 40.12, 16th at the Junior Grand Prix, week two in Courcheval this past season. And looking to prove on that 40.12 here at Junior Worlds.
Oh, looking pretty happy with the performance. Big, big smile. Representing Turkey, Anna Deniz Özdemir. Oh, isn't that great? Always coming off the ice, thrilled with the performance. Uh, such hard work goes in for all these athletes. No matter where they end up in the placement, they know what is good for them, and they know what is less than their capability. And you can read it on their face at the end of the program for sure, but no question that Anna pleased with this performance. There's the double axle. Gets it done nicely. There's the triple toe loop on the quarter in the system. Has to do a three turn, but keeps the free leg off the ice. So that's good. Into the double toe loop, hands above the head. Good thinking, good reaction. Change combination, spin level four. In fact, all the spins at level four, maximizing the degree of difficulty. There's the double flip as planned. Nicely centered. You can see your fingers wrapped right around the toe of the blade. Pulling that free leg up right there. It takes a lot of strength. Of course, flexibility in the back as well. Level four. Very nice performance. A thrilled young woman. She's 15 years old. Born in Ankara. Still smiling. Season's best, 40.12. And should be able to beat that score here at the Junior Worlds. This score is please. Season best, 41.93. Thrilled with that. Smiling eyes, that's for sure. Anna put Anna currently in the 11th place. 41.93 points, which is her new season's best. And the, it brings her currently into the 11th place. <laughs> Well, our next competitor our comes next from Italy, 15-year-old Anna Pizzetta, coached by Lorenzo Magri and Angelina Tarenko. Second in the juniors at the Bavarian Open in 2022, skating to Asturias for the short program.
Well, what an interesting skater. Anna Bazzetta from Italy. Very, very powerful. Explodes off the ice on the takeoffs. Grabs big air. Representing Italy. Which is an Anna advantage Bezzetta. if controlled. Great ice coverage. Powerful, wonderful accelerations. Doesn't look too happy coming off the ice with that one miss on the triple flip. Going for it all. Strong skating skills, great knee action. So lots of skill in this young woman. Doesn't have a, a season's best, so I'm not sure if there's been an injury or off the ice. There's the triple flip. Triple lutz, pardon me. Up into a double total. Just huge air. Has to put the hand down. Here's the triple flip. Look at the climb up into the air, but under rotated and too far back on the heel. Beautiful stretch position in the sit. Flying sit's been in at level four. So double axle climbs up. Great ice coverage. Very powerful, but will not be pleased with the two mistakes on the first jump elements. We're still going to see a pretty good score here with those two mistakes. The skating skill is so strong. All the program components are in the sixes. And that'll help with the scores, that's for sure. Even with the minus 2.65 on the triple flip and the minus 0.59 on the triple Lutz combo. Everything else in the plus GOEs. Let's take a look at the short program scores for Anna Pezzetta of Italy. 51.75. That's six in the short program so far. Anna Pezzetta from Italy has earned in the short program 51.75. Maybe a bit disappointed with her skate, but be a little bit relieved with those scores. Let's see. That'll qualify her in time. Well, there's a look at the standing so far. Justine McClack from Canada, the first skater to qualify, 55.41. Julia Van Dijk, 54.61. And Barbara Renkova of Czech Republic, your top three so far. For the last four groups. And there's a look at the rest of the field in this event to this point. Well, we're going to have an ice resurfacing. We'll take a short break and be back with group number five. To everyone. Much more to come from Talon, Estonia, and the Junior World Figure Skating a Championship. For a I'm Ted Barton. Stay with us. We'll be back shortly.
Comme toujours, elle est belle Comme toujours, tous les jours, tout le temps Dans le noir, le soleil Le brouillard ou la grêle Un peu beau, coup, passionnant Passe
Welcome back, everyone, to Tallinn, Estonia. Day three of competition at the Junior World Championship 2022. Group number five. Getting ready to step onto the ice. We've had some pretty good skating so far. And four more groups to come. Of course, all battling to make sure they get qualified for the final 24 in the free program. And that can be a competition in itself. And some of the skaters recognizing the camera and some ignoring it. It's always a conflict waiting to get onto the ice as to how engaged you become with anything around you, whether it's your coaches or your parents in the stands or the audience. As we get Please introduced welcome. to the group number group five as they take the, the ice for their six for minute warm-up. Warm Representing Hong Kong, Chu Kalen Chung. Representing Sweden, Emily Ling. Representing Poland, Noel Struli. Representing Canada, Lia Pereira. And representing France, Lorraine Schild. Chuck on Kaheksis Tastane, Tan Hong Kongist Paritia, Tan Keskorio Pilane, Tane Milip, Sweet Paske, Rattakaya, Tane Milip Suija, Tane Milip Suija, Tane Milip Suija, Tane Milip Võistluste maha aega tal, kui on nii-öelda vähem võistlusi, siis Sun Volleys Ameerikas, aga Hong Kongis muidu peamisel ajal on osalanud ka maailma meeste võistlustel varemgi ja neile kontinentil kaks aastu, kaks oo aega tagasi. Chaka is an 18-year-old student from Hong Kong. She shares her training time between Sun Valley in the USA and Hong Kong. She enjoys cycling and cooking in her free time. From Hong Kong, Chokka Kalin Chong. Emily on 19-aastane Solna Sundin Taebist, elab praegu seal ajal muidu, siis uisutamise kõrvalt loeb ja joonistab ja on sõpradega koos. Tema on võistelnud 2018-19 oma riigi eest nii hästi, et on saanud seal juunuritest esimese koha kuldmedali järgmisel oojal 2019-2020, aga juba täiskasvunud ja see on saanud bronksmedali. Emily is 19-year-old who enjoys reading, drawing and being with friends. She has already competed in Tallinn this season. She placed fourth at the Tallinn Trophy 2021. From Sweden, Emily Ling. Noel on 14-aastane. Ta on sündinud Sveitsis, Kilsbergis. Tale meelib lisaks usutamisele siis ka ujuda ja võimelda. Eh, võimlemisega tegeled on Zürichis, treenib. Ja sellel hooajal on ta siis võistelnud mitmetel rahvusvahestel võistlustel. Viimasena siis Ljubljanas saanud neljanda koha juunuritas. Noel is 14 years old. She was born in Switzerland and she's currently training in Zurich. She likes swimming and gymnastics in her free time. From Poland, Noel Stroele. Lia on 18-aastane Miltonis sündinud Miltonis elamas ja Miltonis Kanadas ka treenimas. Tale meeldib nautida kunsti, tale meeldib väljas igasuguseid tegevusi teha ja tale meeldib kuulata muusikud ning muusikat nii muidugi on mulle oma sõprade ja perega koos. Sellel hooajal 2021-2022 oli ta täiskasvanud ja seas Kanadas kümmendal kohal. 
Leah is a 19 year old from Milton, Ontario. She likes arts, being outdoors, listening to the music and spending time with her friends and family. From Canada, Leah Pereira. Lorraine on 17. Lorraine on 17. aastane ja ta on keskkooli õpilane, aga talle meelib siis süüa teha, joonistada ja filme vaadata. Chamonix treenib ta siis, kui on vähem pingutada vaja ja pingutanud on ta ka Tallinnas ennegi. 2021 käi siis siin Tallinn hotels ja sellel aastal ka Tallinn hotels. See kord sai kolmanda koha, aga Euroopa juunioride festivalil vuokatis sellel aastal Tuli juunioride võitjaks. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Lorraine is 17 years old. She enjoys cooking, drawing and movies in her spare time. She is the winner of European Youth Olympics Festival in Vuokati this year. She has placed second in the National Senior Championships. From France, Lorraine Schild. There's the Canadian team having some fun in the stands. Great support for the athletes to have their colleagues show up at the rink to support them in their competition. Great team building, great support. Our first competitor comes from Hong Kong, Chuk Ka Kalan Cheong, 18 years old, coached by Craig Heath, choreographed by Scott Brown, 51.03 season's best, personal best, pardon me, back in 2019, 19th of the four continents, 34th of the junior worlds in the 2020 season. Looking to improve that here right now. Skating to Sweet Dreams are made of this by the Eurythmics.
Well, a nice ending. Representing right on the Hong music. Chuk Kalin. Unfortunate on that first element, the triple flip just over rotated on the takeoff and couldn't get the body all coordinated on the landing. The rest of the program pretty well done. Double axle, really interesting steps into that. Difficult. Just a look at the triple flip, look at that upper body rotating quite a bit before over rotating on the landing. There it is again, too far back on the heel, not right on top of the skate. Here's the triple salco, no problem though. Nice and tight in the air. Gets a free leg unraveled, puts it into the ice for the double toe loop. Layback spin level three. So leaving a few points on the table in the spins. Step sequence in at level three, so good for that. Have not seen a level four step sequence yet in the Junior Women's Shirt program. Nicely centered, tiny little circles. On the back outside edge there, keeping it centered. Change combinations in level four, all four features accomplished for the plus GOE. So 51.03, a personal best, not a season's best yet. Let's take a look at the short program scores. Hong Kong, Iruzutayam, Chuka, Kali, Chung. 45.76 for Chuka Kalin Chung from Hong Kong. That'll put her Chuka currently into 11th place. Chuka Kalin from Hong Kong has earned in the short program 45.76 points and she's currently in the 11th place. Next competitor comes from Sweden. 19-year-old Emily Ling. Emily Ling. Born in Solna. Coached and choreographed by Cecilia Wielberg. 48.58. Personal best back in 2020 at the World Junior Championship. Skating a short program to the sound of silence. Performed by Pentatonics. Hello, darkness, my old friend.
Oh, really nice job by Emily Ling from Sweden. Very powerful skater, comfortably confident throughout the program. Sweden, Emily Ling. Always accelerating and very solid elements as well. Just one, just the triple flip had a problem on the landing. That has a minus GOE, but everything else in the positives. And a little nod of approval coming off the ice for Emily. Ah, great job. So nice to see the skaters come out and not skate apprehensively, but go after it. Mistakes are going to happen no matter which way you really skate, but no reason to hold back. Great speed coming into this triple toe loop. Reloads, second triple toe, higher all the way around. Solid landing, plus GOE. There's the double axle. Little tight on the landing there, but here's the triple flip. Watch the landing on the ice, two feet right there. And under rotated, so lost a few points on that landing, but comes back with a nice flying sit spin level four. All the spins and the step sequence, level four. First level four step sequence we've seen in the short program. Look at that unique position of the spin. Great flexibility, great strength. Really, really strong skater. Emily season's best and personal best, 48.58. I think you're going to clearly see a bigger number come up for this short program. And a happy skater. Really well done. What I love about the juniors, little you don't know them all and a little unpredictable and maybe have a couple rough seasons or a couple rough skates and then just come back with gained confidence, grown up, improve the strength, and then deliver a program like that. Let's take a look at the short program scores for Emily Link from Sweden. Season's best, 54.56. Pretty happy with that score. And that'll put Emily currently into third place. And she will qualify for the free program there. The cues start to show up against the name of the athletes. For those who have qualified for the free program, well done, Emily. Our next skater representing Poland, Noel Stroli. A 14 year old Noel Stroli from Poland, coached by Linda Van Troyen, choreographed by Benoit Risho. 54.08, personal best this season in Courchevel on the Junior Grand Prix, skating to Stand By Me by Florence and the Machine.
representing Poland, Noel Strulin. Well, what a beautiful skater Noel is. So quick and agile. You can tell some of the qualities. Just a beautiful split jump. I know that's simple to a certain degree, and it doesn't count for points. But if you're going to put it in your program, do a good one. And she did. Solid spinner. Very good positions. Very fast. Quick and powerful throughout the program. It's really delightful. Let's look at some of the elements. Here's the triple flip off the top all the way around gets the free leg back stretched out nicely good speed on the takeoff that double axle and on the landing and there's that layback spin in the level four that boot up above the head as she does here's the triple lutz late in the program hands above the head into the double toe loop risky to put it so late but a value when you do it and she did Step sequence in at level two, but good quality. And there's a look at the change combination right at the end of the program. That's a level four as well. All the elements in the pluses and the GOE, so not only accomplish what she set out to do, but gain some points by producing them at a high quality. <laughs> well, 54.08 the season's best for Noel. I think you'll see a higher score for that here. Maybe pretty close, but really solid <laughs> performance. Well done. Trains quite a bit of the time in Zurich. Say hi to Linda. Linda, hello. Hi. So nice to see these young skaters, this 14 years old, with such joy coming off the ice in competition. It's oh, always well, like that. No, it is today. Really Let's take a look at the score. Season's best, 55.10. That puts Noel currently into second place. And you can see a big smile underneath that mask as her eyes light up. And there, your top four qualified so far. Noel in second place. Our next skater comes from Canada. Born in Milton, Ontario, 19-year-old Leah Pereira, Leah Pereira. Coached by Nancy Lemaire and Derek Schmidt. Choreographed by Asher Hill. 53.51 season's best. Earning that in Krasnoyarsk on the Junior Grand Prix. We'll skate to listen to your heart.
Well, a really nice, clean skate by Leah Pereira of Canada. What I really liked about Leah's performance is it was nice and confident presence on the ice. Performing every step Representing Canada. and every move Leah in addition Pereira. to the technical elements. Took the time to be detailed on everything that was choreographed and taught. Here's a look at the Canadian team supporting their colleagues. And a big smile coming off the ice. There's an increasing confidence in the Canadian skaters and the juniors. Great teamwork and support. A rebuilding phase for Canada. It'll take some time, but it's on its way. Just triple flip off the top of the program. How nice was that? Just beautiful, soft landing. Triple toe, triple toe. This was a bit of a problem in a lean in the air, but holds the back strong. Reloads the free leg, gets a higher, and the second one pushes the free leg back out to stabilize the landing. Just really smart skating in that triple toe, triple toe. There's a look at the camel spin. That's a level four. Step sequence only in level two, so missing a few features off of that. Double axle near the end of the program. Good flow. Soft landing. Nicely done. All the elements in the plus GOEs. Tell him and the smile all the way through the closing okay. spin. No well, 53.51 season's best for Leah. Should beat that score here. No matter where that ends up, that's all you can do. Skate your best and wear your flag. Nicely done. Coach Lancy, Nancy Lemaire in the Kiss and Cry as well. Does such a great job out of Milton. Yeah, positive energy. She says she has so much energy right now. It's so much fun when it all comes together. And train hard, but a lot of positive support from the team and from the organization. And I have to turn the corner at some point, and get people to believe what they can do. Let's take a look at the scores for Leah in the short program. Season's best, 58.69. That puts Leah Pereira currently into first place. She's thrilled. And qualifies for the free program without problem. There's a look at the top five skaters in this event. For the moment, two Canadians on top. Our next skater representing France, Lorraine Schild. 17 year old Lorraine Schild from France, coached by Malika Tahir. Laurie May, choreographer, skating the short program. There's a 45.64 season's best for the short program, skating to Everyone Wants to Rule the World from the Hunger Games.
Well, another strong performance here by Lorraine Shield. Representing France. From France. Just Lorraine with a question Shield. mark on the triple flip. It was the only review by the technical panel. But pretty strong performance. Nice strong triple left double toe at the top of the program. And Lorraine's season's best at 45.54 should or 64 pardon me should beat that pretty clean here we'll take a look at that flip and check out the landing there's the double axle nice lift up in the air right on top of the landing stretch free leg here's the triple lutz great height all the way around up in the double toe loop want to carry a little bit more speed between those two jumps but still nicely done change combination spin in at level four no problem here's the flip watch the landing that looks okay she doesn't look like she put her foot down and in the system just a question mark on the edge takeoff but the landing was fine Beelman in the layback level four step sequence at three Lines is going to be in this program for so lots of points accumulated here in this program. Well done. The world. I have to admit, I've mentioned this a couple of times, the French have the, some of the best uniforms. Always very stylish. The scores, please. Here are the scores for Lorraine Shield from France. Prantsusma Iloiso Tell, Lorraine Shield. Tennis Lugikava. Season's best, 54.58. And that'll put Lorraine currently in the fifth place. Great skate, Lorraine good score. Lorraine Shield from France has earned in the short program 54.58 points. The field of 24 her new season's for the free program. And Nicely she's currently done. in the fifth place. Told to sit down. There's a look at the standing so far. Two Canadians on top. In the 58 to 55. Noel from Poland, 55 points as well. And there's a look at the rest of the field. Still number of skaters to come to find out who will qualify in the top 24. So... Those skaters who have already performed just waiting anxiously to see where they'll end up. Please welcome the sixth group, group of number six on the taking ice the ice. I'll step aside as you get introduced a little closer to these athletes. From Australia, Victoria Alcantara. From Hungary, Vivian Pup. From Latvia, Nikova Fomchenkova. From Japan, Renka Watanabe. From Romania, Anna Sofia Beskea. And from Switzerland, Kimi Ripond. Victoria on kuudesta astunut on Melbourne syntynyt. Elapka Melbourne siam tealde, että trendi ja trendi käyvät kaikki Torontos. Tälle meeldib vabal ajal siis joonistada, tantsida ja shoppamas käia. Ta on osalenud ka oma, oma maa äh, meistrivõistlustel ja 2019-20 hooajal oli juunioride klassis ka esimesel kohale võitja, aga on siis kolinud ära Kanadasse treeninguteks. Victoria is a 16-year-old from Melbourne, but she is currently training in Toronto. She enjoys drawing, dancing and shopping. She has placed 17th at the ICU for Continents Championships earlier this year, which took place in Tallinn. From Australia, Victoria Alcantara. Vivian on 14. aastane Budapestis sündinud. Ja tema on talle kõigele muuks lisaks meelib siis ka Maalida, klaverit mängida, loomadega koos olla, muusikat kuulata ja tantsida. 
Treenimas käib ta peamiselt siis ikka Itaalias, Egnias. Sellel hooajal, sellel aastalgi on ta viimastel rahvusvaalistel võistlustel saanud pronksmedaleid mitu tüki järjest. Vivian is 14 years old from Budapest, but she is training in Italy in Egna. She is a winner of two junior competitions this season, Budapest Trophy and Ice Challenge in Graz. From Hungary, Vivian Papp. Nikola on 14-aastane ka. Tema on pärit Riast. Tema treenib Riias, aga vahepeal treenib ka Marupes. Tale meeldib siis kõigele muule lisaks, kõigele muule, ehk siis see on peale usutamise, joonistada. Ta on Tallinnas käinud mitmel korral. 2021. aastal siis sai ta teise koha. Selle aasta Tallink Hotels Cupil sai ta Bronx medali. Nikola is 14-year-old from Riga. She is a junior high school student who enjoys drawing. She is the winner of Sofia Trophy 2022 earlier this season. From Latvia, Nikova Fomchenkova. Rinka on 19 aastane. Ta on Shibas ja sündinud aga Tokios veelamas. Tale meelib siis korjata selliseid kujusid ja toite, mis on seotud siis Patyunumos giganteusega. Noh, seda pead ise googeldama, mis see täpselt on. Ülikooli õppilane ja oma maa Jaapani siis täiskasvanud ta kuuenda koha saanud sellel hooajal. Rinka is 19 years old. She is a university student who enjoys watching anime and collecting figures and goods of giant isopods. She placed six at the national championships. From Japan, Rinka Watanabe. Anna Sofia Bukarestis pärit. Ta loeb, reisib, muidugi reisib, joonistab ka vahest. Ja trenni teeb ka Bukarestis. Selle aastal, sellel hooajal on ja juunuride Rumeenia meister. Seda on taga üleelmisel hooajal saabutanud. Anna Sofia is 17 year old. She is from Bucharest who enjoys she enjoys reading, traveling and painting. She is a national junior champion from Romania, Anna Sofia Beskea. Kimi on 15-aastane Baselist pärit ja tantsib, mängib klaverit, teeb süüa, joonistab. Tema hakkas üldse treeni tegema sellepärast, et tal vanemad õed on tema treeneriks ka ja noore mõde on samuti võistlevas iluisutamises. Skaters, there is one minute left of this warm-up. Kimi is 15 years old. She likes dancing, playing the piano, cooking and drawing in her free time. She is coached by her older sister. Kimi started skating because her, her two older sisters were already in the sport. And her, she also has a younger sister who is a figure skater as well. From Switzerland, Kimi Ripon. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. Well, that concludes the warm-up for group number six and the introductions. Now we get back to competition. All these young women battling for the top 24 spots to compete in the free program. There's a look at coach Karen Preston, former Canadian champion Olympian, Coaching Victoria Alcantara of Ladies Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Australia, Victoria Alcantara. Well, 16 years old from Australia, Victoria Alcantara, born in Melbourne, coached now in Canada by Karen Preston and Ernest Bretka, choreography by Mary Larmer. 
50.96 personal best back a couple of years ago in the Junior Grand Prix skating. Not about angels by Birdie. We know full well there's just time. So is it wrong to dance this life? Beautiful piece of music. Nice program by Victoria. Just two foot landing on the triple flip. Be a little disappointed with that, but all three spins, level four. Representing the Australia, positive GOE. Victoria Alcantara. Just a little timid on the attack of that triple toe, or triple flip, pardon me, at the top of the program. Greeted by Karen, Preston coach. Oh, yeah, the lay back. Good. Nice job. You should be very pleased. Great. Here's the triple flip. Really forward on the, in the air. You can see landing too far forward on two feet. There's a triple toe loop. A little bit on a lean, but gets the free leg back. Keeps the hand off the ice up into the double toe loop. Nice work to save that element. Fine sits been level four. Everything in the plus GOEs except for the first triple flip. Nice double axle, beautiful stretch, free leg on the landing. Those are small details that skaters sometimes don't think are important, but at this level of competition, they're really critical. So much to learn. mentioned some of the skaters come off the ice just not sure how they feel about the performance they know the mistakes they made sometimes they don't give themselves enough credit for the good things that they've done because they expect it learning to compete and keep your emotional composure such a difficult skill when you're young it's a lot easier but as you grow up things begin to change and the way you think about things 
that sometimes interfere. So it's always a challenge for the coaches to keep the mind in a positive frame. This course, keep forward, please. appreciate what they've done well, and fix what they Australia. need to work. Let's take a look at the scores for the short program for Victoria Alcantara. Australia 47.54. That's 14th in the short program. Victoria Alcantara from Australia has earned in the short program 47.54 points and she's currently in the 14th place. Well, our next competitor our comes next from Hungary, 14-year-old Vivian Pap, born in Budapest, coached by Angelina Tarenko. Short program choreography by Nora Hoffman, famous Hungarian ice dancer, 55.50, season's best, earning that on the Junior Grand Prix in Ljubljana this past season. Skating to Latika's theme. Oh, what great energy, great joy on the face of Vivian Pop from Hungary. Representing Hungary, Vivian Pop. Well, some skaters love to jump, not so much about performance. Some skaters love to perform, not so much about the jumps. Then there are those skaters that love both. And I think Vivian is that type of skater, enjoys performing every aspect of the program. Big hugs coming off the ice for a job really well done. And you can see the joy on her face from start to finish. Loving every moment it makes it so much nicer to watch from an audience perspective and judges. There's the double axle. If you want to tighten up in the air a little bit more efficiently, there's the triple Lutz. A little bit tighter, gets the free leg back in time for the double toe loop. And a little bit more speed and attack will be a great help but that'll come in time as Vivian continues to grow and get stronger 
Triple flip, a little loose in the air, under rotated in the system as well. That's okay, good mechanics. Anyways. And step sequence in at a level three. Two out of the three spins at level four, one at level three. This last one, the flying system, just a level three, but that's okay. Charming. Well, personal best and season's best score, 55.50. May or may not make that here. We'll see. There was the end of rotation on the triple flip and a quarter on the triple Lutz. Lots of energy. Enjoy. You know, those great skates are so elusive. You have to train so hard and learn how to compete. Learning how to skate is one thing. Learning how to jump and spin, another. But learning how to compete with all of that is completely a different type of skill. It can be learned. A lot's got to do with the psychology of it and your confidence and joy of skating. So important to help fuel that competitive performance. This we saw it here at Vivian. Well, let's take a look at the short program scores Hungary. for Vivian, Vivian from Hungary. 50.82, that's about five points short of season's best. Vivian Still a great Hungary skate, really good skater. That'll put Vivian currently in the 11th place. We'll see where that and she's takes her in the 11th place. at the end of this competition. Next competitor comes from Latvia. Our next 14 years old, Nikola Fomchenkova. Born in Riga and coached by Yekaterina Platonova, 47.06, season's best in Krasnoyarsk on the Junior Grand Prix this past season. And skating to that ever so popular music from Moulin Rouge.
representing Latvia, Nikola Fomchenkova. Well, a few problems for the first on the first two jumps for Nikola. The triple lutz combo and the triple flip sort of set the tone a little bit, and the performance just dragged a little bit more after that. You can see a hug of consolation coming off the ice from Coach. There's the Lutz, a little under-rotated, couldn't get the free leg back, has to step out. Here's the flip, but pretty good in the air, but too far forward. It's a hand off the ice there. But still, the GOEs are, are in the minuses for both those first two elements. Nice change of edge, forward inside, spinning on that camel spin. Here's the double axle, rides off the end of that edge, beautifully across the ice. Nice flow on the landing. Good dealman on the layback, which was the level four. Remember, that looks easy, but that is so physically demanding to pull that leg up. Strength and flexibility is critical in that spin. Here's a look at the some of the steps. Step sequence in at level two. So not the program that Nicola was hoping for. Uh, 47.06 season's best. Just sitting there, wonderful posture, straight back. Lots to work with. You can see the skaters, those people who've been in the sport for a long time can see the abilities in the skater even when they don't skate well. You're looking for the confidence of their edge, the depth, the knee bend, the posture, critical. Air position, also critical. And sometimes mistakes are made. There's timing on takeoffs and such. But the skater is still very good, just didn't perform that day. And I think that's the case here with Nicola. This course, please. Well, season's best at 48.70, just a little bit above her season's best. That'll put Nikola currently into 12th place. Short program 48.70 points, which is her new season's best, and she's currently in the 12th place. Our next competitor comes from Japan, 19-year-old Rinka Watanabe. Sixth in the Japan, senior Rinka nationals Watanabe. this season, 27th in the seniors last season. So great improvement made by Rinka. Not on the Junior Grand Prix circuit at all. This is the first junior competition for Rinka, the age of 19. Now she takes her spot to skate at the Junior World Championships to Moulin Rouge.
Well, you can see how Rinka's face, just the disappointment with that Gemma flip. Great start Rinka to the program. And this young woman has improved in her performance and commitment to the choreography, not just the jumping, but first time out on the junior world circuit. Great start, good skating skills, powerful, fast. Nice smile coming off the ice. Just weird on the flip, but very cautious. I noticed that going in before she even jumped. I could see, whoa, she's backing off here, slowing down, wanting to skate clean. You have to attack everything. Here's the double axle. Beautiful. Lift, flow on the landing, stretch free leg, absolutely outstanding. One point plus GOE. There's the triple left, triple toe loop. 1.35 GOE on that as well. So good start to the program. Change combination in level four. Here's the flip and upper body rotates too early, opens up in midair. Really unfortunate. Flying sits spin level four. Step sequence level four. Lay back spin level four. So points earned on the other elements. Try to make up for that flip. Oh, no season's best or personal best score for Rinka, not on the circuit, so where will these scores end up? We'll see. Some solid program, some really good skating, good spinning. Just that one element was costly, but we'll see where this overall program takes her in the standings. Watch Rinka skate over a number of years, and this is much improved commitment to the choreography before pretty much just a jumper starting to grow and mature to an all-round skill. Let's take a look. Sure program scores for Rinka Watanabe from Japan. 59.96, good score. And that puts Rinka currently into first place. Rinka Watanabe from Japan has earned in the short program 59.96 points. And she's currently in the first place. Looks pretty pleased with that score, even with that one mistake. Our next competitor Our comes next from Romania, 17-year-old Anna Sofia Pescaia. Born in Bucharest, 39.95. Personal best back in 2019 in the Junior World Championship. It was in the Junior Grand Prix this past season in Linz, Austria. Skating the short program here at Worlds to Skyfall. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move and then hear my heart burst. 
representing Romania, Anna Sofia Prescaya. Well, a bit of a challenge he skated for Anna, starting out well with the triple salt, double toe combination, problems on the flip, and then the unexpected fall on the double axle. Just pulled that around the corner. Doesn't look like her favorite jump. And that's the case in many skaters. Just don't like that forward takeoff. And just get a little timid on it. Well, here's the start of the program. Triple Salcow. No problem. Gets the free leg back. Up into the double toe loop. Good job. Hanging on to that landing there. <laughs> into a turn. Here's the triple flip. Got uh, over-rotated the takeoff, under-rotated at the landing. Has to land on two feet. And that's, of course, a downgrade. Flying sits been here at level two. There's the double axle. Look how tight on that corner takeoff. That does not allow you to take the speed of the flow off the takeoff edge. And has to take a fall on that element. Which is a automatic one point for the fall and the course reductions on the element itself as well. Change combination has been level three at the end of the program and you can see in the eyes of Anna right there. Just disappointment. The loss opportunity. It's a tough moment in the kiss and cry when skaters really under delivered to their own expectation. And your heart, you know, breaks for them as they go through those feelings. And they're trying to grow up at the same time. Everything gets complicated. They're never happy with any of the answers. They have to find them themselves in their own journey. Let's take a look at the scores. 35.53. That'll put Sofia, Anna Sofia, currently in a 29th position. Anna Sofia Beskia from Romania has earned in the short program 35.53 points, and she is currently in the 29th place. Our next skater, Our final skater in this group, 15-year-old Kimi Ripon from Ripon. Switzerland, born in Basel. 51.97 seasons best in Košice, Slovak Republic, week three on the Junior Grand Prix this past season. And looking to improve on that score right here in the World Junior Championship. Skating to run by Ludovico Ayanaudi.
so many beautiful aspects of this young woman skating. Kimmy Ripon from Switzerland, just beautiful. Great attack, yet delicate movement. Acceleration on every step. Not just gliding, but accelerating, pushing forward throughout the program. Pushing the limits and the barrier, just beautiful. That's a special jewel we've discovered here in juniors. Lots yet to come, of course, and still lots of room for improvement, but the basics of that just absolutely stunning captures your imagination right there right off the top for the opening movement here's the triple Lutz gets the free leg back into the triple toe loop gets all the way around double axle flow in flow out all the positions in the spins nicely performed tight little circles perfectly centered here's the triple flip later in the program Lovely back on the landing, right into a twizzle right after that, then right into change combination spin. Great transitions into that jump, out of the jump, into the spin. Here's a look at the step sequence, level three. Final spin, layback, level four. Just the flip with a minus, everything else with a plus, 51.97. Kimmy's season's best and the commitment to the emotional performance as well full package it's going to be a lot of fun watching this young woman continue to develop and get stronger well season's best 51.97 and most certain will top that score here in the short program of the world juniors this course please there it is. Season's best, 60.82. Great score. Great result so far. Some great skating still to come. High fives all the way around in the kiss and cry. Great job. That was fun. Nope, nope, nope. Stay seated. There you go. And here's a look at the standing so far. After six groups, Kimmy Rippon, beautiful performance. We just saw that 60.82. Rinka Watanabe of Japan, 59.96. And in third, Leah Pereira of Canada with 58.69. Some really good skating, great competition, much more to come. We're going to take a short break during the ice resurfacing. You're watching live coverage of the 2022 ISU World Junior Figure Skating Championships. I'm Ted Barton. We'll be back with group number seven. Stay with us.
Welcome back, everyone, to Talon, the 2022 World Junior Figure Skating Championship Women's Short Program, group number seven, about to take to the ice. Got some really good skating. You know, our, it doesn't matter whether we have triple axles or quads, what we have is a competition. And it gets very tight, these young women are delivering their best performances. We've had some nice, beautiful, emotional moments by some of these athletes who deliver their best performance under these conditions. And there's the skaters recognizing the camera, waving back home to friends and family. It's so nice to see all these skaters sort of it's an unusual year because they're not all seated hasn't been a lot of competition so we'll had that we had some very good skating early on in the competition and those skaters may still yet qualify and we'll start now with six skaters in this Group. It's the first group with six skaters up to this point. We've had five the rest of the way. We'll have six skaters in each of the remaining two groups. Nice young talent coming from all over the world. It's so enjoyable to see the sport continue to expand. We've had the addition to some Middle East countries as well. Egypt has joined the ISU. There's interest in some other Middle East countries as well. And it's a beautiful sport. It's very demanding, as we know. Please we'll step aside as you get introduced and learn a little bit more about each one of these outfits. Representing Korea, Republic of Korea, Ah Sun Yun. Representing Japan, Rion Sumiyoshi. Representing Lithuania, Yogaila Agninskita. Representing Philippines, Sofia Lexi Jacqueline Frank. Representing Republic of Korea, Ia Shin. Representing Belgium, Nina Pinsarone. Ahson on viidist aastane, ta on Ansan Cities Koreas sündin Soulis treenib ja sellel hooajal 2021-2022 on ta võistlenud Koreas täiskasvanutega ja saanud seal uuenda koha. Ahson is a 15-year-old middle school student from Seoul. She enjoys playing games, reading uh, and she is interested in books. She has placed six international championships from the Republic of Korea, Ah Sun Young. Rayon on 18-aastane Tokyost pärit ja Tokyost ka treenib. Vabal ajal meeldib tale süüa teha. Ja sellel aastal, sellel hooajal 2021-2022 on ta juunurites Jaaponis teise koha saavutanud, aga võistlemist on alustanud ta juba viis aastat tagasi, nii et siis oli ta 13. Rion is 18 years old. She lives and trains in Tokyo. She enjoys cooking in her free time. She has placed second in the national junior championships. From Japan, Rion Sumiyoshi.
Jo Kaingla on 16. aastane leedotoruk pärit Viljusest ja tantsib, joonistab, reisib ringi, treenimas käib aga Kaunases. Ta on mõnel korral ka Tallinnas käinud võistlemas. 2021 sai ta juunurites esimese koha Tallinn Hotels Cupil sellel aastal viienda koha. Eemno aeg oli ta Leedu juunuride meister. Jo Kaile is 16 years old from Vilnius, but she is currently training in Kaunas. In her free time, she enjoys dancing, drawing and traveling. From Lithuania, Jogaile Agrenskyte. Sofia on pärit Los Angeleses. Ta on 16 aastane. Ta elab nüüd Colorado Springsis. Kui ta parase kui uisuta, siis ta loeb raamatud ja vaatab hirmseid filme. Treenimas on ka Colorado Springsis ja osales sellel aastal jaanuris ka nelja kontinenti võistustel siin samas jäähallis. On ta ennega Tallinnad külastanud. Sofia is 16 years old. In her free time, she likes to read books and watch scary movies. She trains in Colorado Springs, USA. She has already been to Tallinn this year as she took part in four continent championships where she placed 16. From Philippines, Sophia Lexi Jacqueline Frank. Ia on 14-aastane ja Korea Turuk, soolist pärit. Ta on vist ka üks lõhemaid, 143 sentimeerit pikk. Ja ta on oma parima tulemuse saanud Baltic Cupil 2021. Jaapan või Koreaas vabandus on ta sellel hooajal täiskasmõnde seas neljas. Gia is 14 years old from Seoul, who likes baking in her free time. She has placed fourth in the National Senior Championships from the Republic of Korea, Jia Shin. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Nina on 15 aastane Brüsselist pärit. Noh, vabal ajal ta siis on sõprade koos või on sotsiaalmeedias või tantsib või hoopis teeb süüa. Ja tema on Belgia meister, juunioride meister sellest hooajast, siis omas riigis Antwerpelis treenib ja lõi venise Michelle Enise Prantsist. Nina is 15 years old from Brussels. She enjoys being with her friends, reading social media, dancing and cooking. She is a national junior champion. From Belgium, Nina Pinsarone. Skaters, your warm-up has ended. Please leave the ice. And there we are meeting the skaters of group number seven. Just a little bit more information and background, always interesting as they clear the ice. For the first skater. Ladies and gentlemen, representing well, from Korea, the Republic of Korea, 15 year old Asun Yun. 57.73 season's best in week two of the Junior Grand Prix in Courchevel. Or she placed fifth in that competition. And looking to improve on that 57.73 right here at the World Junior Championship. Right in front of the judges, skating to La Strada by Nina Rada.
Oh, what a great skate by Unsun Yun from Korea. Big smile right at the end of the program. Representing Mission Republic accomplished. Unsun Yun. Just 15 years old, coming off the ice. Big smile. Clean program here at the Junior Worlds. Let's take a look. First element, the triple left, triple toe. There's the Lutz. Good speed. Ice coverage reloads. Keeps that... Low knee bend pushes higher all the way around. Just beautiful. That element came in at a 1.69 plus GOE. There's the double axle. And triple flip a little bit later. Nice and straight and tight in the air. Good flow on the landing. Step sequence in at a level four. So good points. Just a few of those. Of those step sequences at level four in the juniors so far in this event. Layback spin level four. Flying sit spin level three. Nice. 57.73 seasons and personal best. Looking to top that here, pretty sure. That will happen as we'll take a look at the scores right now. Season's best, 66.28. They're thrilled. Polite and so. Yun from the Republic of Korea has earned in the short program Great job. 66 points. There's the leaderboard, top five so far. Best, and she's currently in the first place. Well, next up from Japan, Our taking a couple deep breaths at the boards, 18-year-old Rion Sumiyoshi. Sumi 59.80, season's best, or personal best, earning that back in 2018. Eighth in seniors, second in juniors in Japan this season. Skating to Je suis malade by Alice Donna. <laughs>
Well, Rian will be maybe a little disappointed with that triple Lutz, but the rest of the program so beautifully skated, emotional movement, Japan. feeling throughout the program. Rion Sumiyoshi. And other than that one element, just high quality on the spins, on the steps, level four steps, level four spins. And beautiful triple flip and double axle as well. The triple Lutz combo was the problem with the minus 2.95. But still, the overall quality of this program should score Rion quite nicely. He'll be in the mix for sure. But high standards set by each one of these athletes. They want to skate clean at the most important moment. There's the double axle. Look at the speed on the takeoff and on the landing. Here's the triple Lutz. Just too far back on the heel. Couldn't get the free leg back. Has to step out. Flexibility and strength required. Change combination spin four. With a high GOE. Flying spin four. And the GOE. There's the triple flip later in the program. No problem. 1.29 plus quality GOE score. Layback spin four. Step sequence four. Solid look at the posture. The follow through of the arms and the head. So nicely presented. 59.80 personal best by Rian. Can she beat that score here? You need a 66.29 to take the lead. Don't think that will happen with this program, but. Japan, right now, 60.62. That's third in the short program. Rion Sumiyoshi from Japan has earned in the short program 60.62 points, and she is currently in the third place. So close between second and third. Our next skater representing Lithuania, Yogaile Aglinskite. Well, Yogaile, 16 years old, born in Vilnius, coached by Dmitry Kozlov, 45.69, season's best back in 2019, but European Youth Olympics, ninth place finish this season. Skating to All is Soft Inside by Aurora.
A really nice performance by Jogela. Very powerful movement, commitment to the choreography, obviously, as well as the technical elements. Great on ice presence, powerful. Doesn't back down from the elements, accelerates, pushes towards them. Here's the triple lutz, beautiful. Uh, maybe on the quarter mark, it's under rotated actually in the system. And then the double toe loop. Here's the triple flip, hands above the head. And that's clean in the system. There's the flying system only level two, so lost two features on that. Actually just giving her the base at the moment now. Lost a lot of points on that flying system. Double axle, no problem change combination spin being reviewed at the moment but in at the moment at level three and the step sequence in at three as well layback spin at the end of the program in at a level four so 45.69 season's best or personal best actually Probably will break that score here at the World Junior Championship. There's so many small details for all these athletes to learn. It's like having a shopping list, but only having to take six or seven or eight years to go through that shopping list and learn each skill. You have to learn to jump nicely, learn to spin properly, learn to connect to the music, get flexibility and strength, and all those items take years to, to learn. This course, please. Sure, program scores. Leedu ilusuttaja, joka ei laadin skitem. You got a 51.76. That'll put you got currently into 14th position. You got me against Kita from Lithuania has earned in the short program 51 points. Does qualify for the free program? You can see fist pump of joy there into the free. Oops, Our next don't want to see myself on the screen. The next up, Sophia, Sophia Lexi, Lexi Jacqueline Frank, Frank from the from Philippines, 16 years old. Born in Los Angeles, California. Coached by Tammy Gamble. 53.30 personal best back in 2021. Skating the short here at Nationals to Last Dance by Donna Summer. <laughs>
Oh, what a great performance by Sophia Alexi Jacqueline Frank. Maybe her best in the short program. Sophia Alexi. Magic Levine. smile from the first note all the way through. And once those two difficult elements got delivered as planned, the energy, positivity, and enjoyment just came out of all her choreography. Really nicely done coming off the ice with a lot of joy. Here's Tammy Gamble, such a great coach in the United States. Many, many athletes. There's a look at the Lutz, straight up, all the way around, up into the double toe. Nice. Triple flip, same thing, straight up. No angles in the air, not having to fight for the landings, just right on top. Look at the change combination. Now all the spins in, unfortunately, at a level three. Oh no, the flying system went been upgraded to four. There's the layback at the end of the program. Input at three, yes, it is a level three of that layback spin. So two of the three spins in at level three, just missing one feature each. Some nice steps in that sequence as well. Right into the final pose, lots of energy. Great job. Well, season's best, 53.30. And if she can be in that range, will most likely qualify for the free program. This year for these coaches that have both seniors and juniors really all over the world trying to maintain the school back home and having their skaters continue to train requires a great coaching team. Sophia, Lexi, 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 Jacqueline, Frank. 53.86 season best. Now put currently into 11th place. Sophia, Lexi, Jacqueline, Frank from the Philippines has earned the short And a nice cue beside her name qualifying for the final 24 in the free program. Nice to see that. currently in the 11th place. Well, our next skater comes from the Republic of our Korea, Jia Shin, 14 years Republic old. A young Jia skater, Shin. coached by Bitna Park. 67.28, a good score out of Gdansk in the Junior Grand Prix this past season. Where she placed third, winning the bronze medal, skating the short program to La Bohème.
Well, what a beautiful program by 14-year-old Jia Shin from the Republic of Korea. Just delightful skating skills, soft knees, great deep edges. Republic of Korea, Jia Shin. And delivering the elements with such high quality. Bronze medalists on the Junior Grand Prix this season. All the program component scores are in the sevens. Really wonderful quality of every detail. It's so important to train every detail, every hand movement, every head movement, let alone the spins and the jumps and the steps. Lots of detail here in the opening. There's the look at the Lutz. Gets the free leg back, carries that momentum up into the toe pick for the triple toe loop, climbs up a little higher in the air, all the way around. Double axle. Nice and soft landing. Finds his spin level four. All the spins in level four, so getting all the features. There's the flip a little bit later in the program. Great speed and all the way around on the landing. You can see nice clean edges. Not a lot of snow on the landing, just flow. Layback spin, level four at the end. And charming. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, 67.28, season's best for Jia Shin from Korea. Going to need a 66.29 to take the lead. And that's very well within her range. Go short program scores for Jia Shin. Season's best, 69.38. And that puts Jia currently into first place. Jia Shin from the Republic of Korea has earned in the short program 69.38 points, which is her new season's best. Top two spots owned by the, the Republic of Korea. Those are your top five skaters on the leaderboard so far. Seven more to come. Well, next up from Belgium, 15 year old Nina Pinceroni. Our next skater representing Belgium. Born Nina in Brussels. 64.58, season's best in Ljubljana Junior Grand Prix this past season. Skating the short program to I Will Wait For You. Je ne pourrai jamais 
A oh, beautiful program by Nina Pinceroni from Belgium. Following in the footsteps of Leona Hendricks. Representing Belgium. Had a great season. Nina Pinceroni. Quality performance. Beautiful posture. Solid elements. So nice. All the spins plus the steps in at level four. So can't do better than that for the degree of difficulty. There's that triple Lutz, triple toe loop quarter on the Lutz. Great flexibility and the combo spin. Step sequence in at level four. Great flexibility. Just 15 years old, very bright future for this young woman. Lovely skills, beautiful posture. A little bit more emotional connection to the music in time. Scores, please. Short program scores for Nina. Belgia, Iluisuttaja, Nina Pinzarone. Tennis Lyhikavaga. 63.67, just a little shy of the season's best, but that'll put Nina currently into third place. Clearly qualifying for the final 24. 63.67 points, and she's currently in the third place. Oh, there's a look at the standings so far. Top two positions by Korean skaters. Nina just finished skating. 63.67 is in third. There's a look at the rest of the field. The Q means they've qualified for the final free skate portion of this event. With one more group of six skaters to come. There they are. We'll let you listen to the background of each one of these skaters as they are introduced to the audience. From the Republic of Korea, Sayon Hui. From Finland, Linnea Seder. From United States of America, Lindsay Tongren. From Estonia, Nina Piotrykina. From United States of America, Claire Sio. From United States of America, Isabeau Levito. So young on the stage, the stars are so list parit. Ja treeni mas skype ka seal. Sayon is a 17-year-old high school student from Seoul. She participated in the NHK Trophy this season, where she placed ninth. From the Republic of Korea, Sayon Wee. Linnea on 19-aastane Tuusule sündinud keravas elamas ja Espoost treenimas. Lisaks suisutamisele mängib ka golfi. Tema on hooaegu juba viis osalenud jõunuride võistustel Soomes ja toonud sealt nii pronksmedalid kui sellel hooajal siis ka täiskasvunute seas hõbemedal. Linnea is 19 years old. She divides her training time between Espoo, Brussels and Chicago. She likes to play golf in her free time. 
She is a national silver medalist from Finland, Linnea Sider. Lindsay on 16 aastane White Plains is on Ameerika sündinud Montclairist ta elab ja temal treenerid Viktor Petrenko ja ja Julia Lautova on mõlemad olnud ilusutamise olümpia mängudel sellel hooajal Ameerika meistrivõistlustel Lindsay on saanud viienda koha täiskasvanute seas Lindsay is a 16 year old high school student who enjoys reading in her free time her coach, Viktor Petrenko, is the 1992 Olympic champion. And her other coach, Julia Lautova, also competed at the Olympic level, representing Austria. Lindsay placed fifth in the national championships this year. From the United States of America, Lindsay Tongren. Nina on 17-aastane Tallinna Türuk, käib koolis ja muul ajal siis disainib. Tallinnaste trenniga tema treener on Svetlana Varnavska ja selle aastal osales ta ka maailmameistri võistlustel, kus sai 16. koha Euroopa meistri võistlustel, sai 8. ja on hetkel Eesti meister. Nina is a 17-year-old from Tallinn who is interested in design. She is a national senior champion and she placed 8th at the European Championships this year and 16th in the World Championships. From Estonia, Nina Petrikina. Claire on sündinud Clearmontis, nagu siis mujal, aga elab Colorado Springsis, seal teeb ka trenni. Lisaks usutamisele loeb loeb kõike, mis kätte sattub. Sellel hooajal on ta Ameerika ühendriikide juunioride meister. Claire is a 15-year-old high school student who enjoys reading. She is a national junior champion. From the United States of America, Claire Sio. Isabeau on 15 aastane Philadelphia sündinud Mont Hollis. Loeb, õmbleb, mängib klaverit, küpsetab ja on sellel aastal Ameerika ühendriikidel pronksmedaliomanik täiskasvanute võistlustel. Skaters, there is one minute left in this warm-up. Isabo is a 15-year-old student who likes to read, knit and play the piano and bake in her free time. She is a National Senior Championships bronze medalist. From the United States of America, Isabo Levito. Well, there's a look at your final six skaters on the ice. All oh, very strong competitors. Really such a tight competition. The technical skaters, elements not so different amongst all these skaters. Please so it's really going to depend on how well they perform it and can they connect with the music. They need every level of difficulty in the spins, the steps. And they need to land their jumps because there's nothing really separating these skaters technically unless you make mistakes our first skater comes from the Republic of Korea ladies and gentlemen 17 year old Si Young Wee born in Seoul in season's best of 66.48 but that was back 
personal best, pardon me, that was back in 2018. Sixth at the World Junior Championships in 2020. Fifth in the seniors in Korea. Skating to the Grandmaster soundtrack and the last airbender soundtrack by James Newton Howard. A very solid performance by Si Young Wee from Korea in the short program. From the Republic Seven of Seven Elements, Korea. just one review that's Seo on the flying Wee. system at the end of the program called a level three. They'll check that out to see if in fact it is or level four. All the ele other elements cleanly skated and coming off the ice with a nice smile, thrilled with the performance. All these skaters, age 14 up to 19, different physical and emotional states development. There's the double axle, just beautifully executed across the ice with great flow in the landing. There's the Lutz, straight, tight in the air, up into the triple toe loop, gets it done. Nice. Camel spin, level four, all the spins, nope, two of the spins are level four, the flying spin at the end is level three. Step sequence, level four. And as I mentioned, not so many juniors get the level four step sequence, but it seems to be quite a few right now, accomplishing all the features. There's a look. 
change combinations then at four near the end of the program. Fine since then at three. Well, 66.48 is her personal best, 58.23 is the season's best. Let's see what the score is for the World Junior Championship short program here. In Thailand, 66.09 season's best. That'll put Sion Hui from Korea in third place. Sion Hui from the Republic of Korea has earned in the short program. There you go. Program. All three positions points, at the moment owned best, by the Korean the skaters. I see done. Still some good skating yet to come, though. Our next skater representing Finland, Linne Seder. Linne Seder from Finland, 19 years old. Coached by Verpi Hortana. 58.01. Season's best back in 2020 at the European Championship Skating to Cinema Paradiso. From Finland, Linnea Seder. Well, overall, pretty nice program. Linnea coming off the ice. Another skater, hard to read how 
she feels about that program. Lutz all the way around, fights so hard to get that free leg back, gets up in the double toe loop, fights to push it back again, but pretty good work. A little bit off balance, but makes it work anyways. There's the triple flip. The flying system only in a level two. Loses a few points on that element. Step sequence in a level three. a little bit later in the program. Nice. Change combination's been four. The layback's been at the end of the program, just a level two as well. So gave some points away on the spins and that could make a difference. It will make a difference. You just have to be so patient and determined to hit every position for the required amount of revolutions. And it's a very difficult thing to train skaters to do because they have to feel it. You don't know exactly how many revolutions you've made and you've gotta know what six feels like or two feels like or three feels like. And sometimes you get a little anxious to the music and short this course please let's take a look at the short program scores so my cedar from finland that's the season's best linda cedar from finland has earned at the short program 56.34 points which is her new season's best and she's currently in the ninth place Qualifies for the free program. Yeah. Our next skater Our comes next from the United States. 16 year old United Lindsay States Thorngren. Lindsay Thorngren. Won the first Junior Grand Prix in Courchevel this season and was third, took the bronze in Ljubljana. Fifth in seniors of the United States, sixth last season. Let's get the short program here to Writings on the Wall.
Oh, what a wonderful program by Lindsay Thorngren. That's the best the that States of America. can do. Lindsay Thorngren. Quality on every element. Beautiful positions, straight back, stretch free leg, pointed toes, full range of upper body movement in choreography. Really nicely done. Good GOEs all the way through this program. Maybe the one thing that Lindsay, look at tears of joy coming off the ice. We'll work on it's just a little bit more speed and aggressiveness. The Japanese and the Koreans are very aggressive. You, you want to add a little bit of that with all the rest of this beautiful skating here. Look at the stretch free lake and there's the double axle. Beautiful glide, distance on that jump. There it is again. Change combination, spin at four. There's the triple lutz, reload, push as high as you can get, and gets all the way around that triple lutz on a quarter, actually, on the triple total, but all the way around the lutz. Flying sit spin at four, steps at three, so missing just a little bit of steps required to get that four. And then the lay back in at level four as well. Beautiful transitions into and out of the elements, adding to that overall quality in the program. All the, G all the program components in the sevens. Season's best, 70.24. Not sure that score will come up here, but still a great skate by Lindsay. All three American women in the final group, and all three are very, very strong skaters. Scores, please. Short program scores for Lindsay Thorngren. Sixty-six point one four. That's third in the free program, or sorry, in the short program so far. Lindsay Thorngren from the United States of America has earned in the short program a good position. So look at your top five on the leaderboard so far. in the third place. Well, hometown favorite on the ice right now, 17-year-old Nina Petrokina from Petrikina. Estonia, born in Tallinn, and trains in Tallinn. First at the Senior National Championships, eighth at the Europeans this season, 16th at the World Championships, and here at the Junior Worlds. Skating to try to be in contention for a medal.
Oh, what a great performance by Nina Patekina from Estonia, right at home in front of friends and family, colleagues, students. Boy, that's pressure. But Nina just really delivered top program. Didn't back off of anything, from just was Estonia, aggressive. Nina Petrikina. Skated free and with great confidence. And you could see it in that performance. It's been a big year for Nina in competing at the World Championship. I mean, 16th, 8th at the Europeans right here in Estonia at home. A lot of positivity. You start to believe in yourself. You know what you're capable of. And you can control that emotional moment, that stress that you can feel. Double axle. Lovely. There's the triple Lutz, straight and tight and strong in the air, reloads. Good strong check out of that Lutz. Up into the triple toe loop, all the way, nice and clean. Change combination spin level four. All the spins are level, pardon me, flying spin was a level three. Step sequence was a level four. There's a look at the flip. Beautifully done as well. Back's been at the end of the program in at level four as well. All plus GOEs. The season's best 64.92. We should see a score pretty close to that. program score for Nina here at home. Season's best, 65.90. And that'll put Nina currently into fifth place. I'll be looking for a little higher on that. Still season's best. Still in the final. And very, very close competition. Look how close those scores are. So anything and probably everything will happen in the free. Our next skater Our comes next from skater the United States. 15-year-old Claire Seal out of Claire Claremont, Seo. California. Coached by Tammy Gamble. 63.43 earning that in week one in the Courchevel Junior Grand Prix this past season. Skating the short here. There's a look at Tammy. Second skater in this event. Skating terrain in your black eyes by Easy Obasco.
from the United States of America, Claire Seal. Well, strong performance by Claire here in the short program. Little question on the landing of the triple toe loop on the jump combination. The technical panel looking at that right now and also the flying system only in at a level three. So just a few points left on the ice, but overall a very nice program indeed. Well, let's take a look at the landing of that triple toe loop on this opening combination. There's the Lutz, no problem there. Reloads, hangs on, watch the landing right here. Yeah, that's under rotated in the system. There's the double axle, and it's just a fight for that landing. Flying system in level three. There's the triple flip. Difficult position feature there in the change combination spin. There's the layback, the Beelman at the end. So good overall performance by Claire here at Junior Worlds. Season's best score, 60 point, 63.43. Let's see where this performance lands her. Very tight competition. Number of skaters all in the same range. As I mentioned, a lot will happen in the free program. Many more elements, of course. This course, please. Short program scores America, for America, Claire America, CEO from the United States. 60.61, that's ninth in the short program. Claire CEO from the United States of America has earned in the short program 60.61 But you can see that's only points. six points away from third, so place. it is ever so close. Such a tight competition. Well, the final skater in the women's Our short program comes also from the United States, the United Isabel States Levito, 15 years old. Coached by Julia Kunitsova. And season's best score, 71.32, earning that the final week of competition in the Junior Grand Prix in Linz, Austria. Third in seniors of the United States this past season, skating to the Swan.
Well, that was simply exquisite. From United States of America, Isabel Levito. The quality of every single move. And out of the seven elements, five are well into the plus ones for the quality of the technical elements and the program components, many of them in the eight. So the quality is just of the highest level for junior skating. And although the elements, except for the triple lutz, triple loop, pretty much the same as the other skaters, the quality is just simply that much higher. There's the double axle, beautiful soft landing, an arm position. There's the triple flip, soft knees, stretched free leg beautiful strong back there's the triple lutz no problem right up into the triple loop gets it done and nicely centered in one spot the flying sit spin steps in at a level 4 with a 1.56 GOE Lay back in at a four. Well, season's best, 71.32. And that would be enough to take the lead here. Just sees a 69.39 to take over first. And here are the scores for Isabel Levito for the short program. 72.50, season's best, and enough to take the lead. Isabel Levito from the United States of America has earned in the short program 72.50 points, which is her new season's best, and she is going into the first place. Well, there's a look here at the standings after the short program. Is about, of course, 72.50 in first. Yia Shin for the Korea, 69.38. And Asun Yun, 66.28. Also from Korea, Lindsay Thorngren in fourth. And look at Thank the rest of the field. Thank you for being with us. This concludes the junior really women's short program. Really strong skating here in the women's short program. It's going to be a battle of the free. It's ever skating. so close. Well, that concludes coverage of the women's short program. Up next will be the men's free program in just over an hour. And we're going to take a break. Much more to come from Talon Estonia and the Junior World Figure Skating Championship 2022 as we look at the top three skaters after the short program. Asun Yun in third place. Beautiful jump combination. Great program. Nice personality throughout it as well. Nice triple flip there.
will end second with 69.38. Jia Shin from the Republic of Korea. Just a brilliant performance. Lots of personality, strong elements, quality skating all the way. Beautiful double axle, soft landing, stretch free leg. Beautifully centered sit spin. Delightful. And the leader after the short program, just watch this short program, Isabel Levito from the United States. Just such refined quality on every step, every arm movement, every technical element. The highest level of quality. Includes our coverage of the women's short program, men's free program coming up in just over an hour. Much more to come from Talon. We'll be back. <laughs>